can't sing a song while the Sims music plays. I get the melodies mixed up. <laughs> Hello, everybody. I'm just waiting until you guys can see me. Oh, now, this, now the music goes off. Now it goes off. I'm just waiting until I see you guys greet me. Because I have a delay. Hello. I don't know if that's a, I can see you hi, or just, hello, I'm here in the stream, hi. Hi, everybody. <laughs> okay, I think I'm good. I think I'm good now. Let me uh, ping the Discord. That was a weird sound in my ear. Okay. <laughs> All right, let me ping the Discord. We're gonna get strange today. We're playing Strange Town. Oh, Lord, help me. We're playing Strange Town. We're going to go back to the Smith family. See if Jenny got Prego. Did she get Gregnick? I think this is like vibrating or something. It's really weird. Do you guys hear like a weird sound when I talk or is it just me? <laughs> hey, happy bunny. I guess it's just me. Okay, I guess it's just my headphone. I don't know, that's weird. Okay, so let me ping the Discord. Ah! It's like buzzing in my ear. I'm not gonna be able to stand that. Ah, oh, thank you so much for the three month uh, resub. Who we got, who we got? Made of sushi, thank you so much. And thank you for the four month prime sub, Valisquaw. <laughs> thank you so much. You don't hear anything? I think my headphone's just like buzzing. That's weird. Okay. I ping the Discord. We're ready to go. I've got Strange Town pulled up. You had the same issues with your previous headphones? I think it's my, yeah, I think it's my headphone. I think it's, it's like buzzing. It's like vibrating. It's really weird. Uh, thank you so much for the three month Prime Sub, Beth. All right, so back to what I was saying before that irritated me. Um, we're going back to the Smith household today. We're gonna see if Jenny got knocked up or not with her last child. And I'm excited, I hope so. I hope we get a baby. Hope we get a baby today. Now in our last stream, if you weren't here, we built something. Oops. We built a bar, sort of. We're not quite finished with it. We may try to go back and finish it today at the end of the stream. We'll see how it goes. Oh, thank you so much, Nathan. <laughs> thank you for the, thank you for the congratulations for 64,000 subs. I really appreciate that. And thank you so much for the three month prime, prime sub megantics. Megan Dix, <laughs> thank you. Thank you for, oh, good Lord. Thank you for the tier one sub, Feral Frenzies. Thank you very much. Thank you for the nine, is that nine? Can't see, nine months, I think. Nine months prime sub, Bectorious. <laughs> thank you for the eight months at tier one, Kim Arthur, and the nine month prime sub, Shannon, or should I call you Cassandra? <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much. And thank you so much for the eight months at tier one Tristesse. And thank you for the 50 bits, red caps, and hinky punks. Okay, so I'm, we're gonna go, I'm gonna bring you guys over to the game now. Nine whole months, a whole baby, a whole babby. A whole babby's worth of subscribing to me. <laughs> thank you so much, a Twitch babby. I need, I wanna change the nine month badge to like a pregnant, a pregnant sim or pregnant plum bob, I don't know. Or maybe a babby. <laughs> hey, Red Le Levi Redbox. I hope I said that right. Cassandra Shannon Vent Cleaner. Okay, I'm sorry, I got it wrong. I'm sorry. Thank you for the 100 bits Neptune locks. Okay, we're going over. We're going over. Possibly. We're possibly going over. <laughs> there it goes. Uh, thank you so much for the five month prime sub, Kenny Chan. Kenny Chan, thank you so much. Oh my God, Sammy, 12 months in advance. Oh my God, thank you so much. That'll make you my first ever 12 month subscriber. Thank you so much. Aww. The alien birth cut scene, yeah. A pacifier. <laughs> A plum bomb pacifier. I like that, Megan. I like that. Thank you so much for the Prime Sub Haley's. And thank you for the five month Prime Sub Carrie Kent. Thank you guys. Uh, yeah, it's, I, we shouldn't have any more pink soup, especially not in Strange Town because we have like no trees here. So here's the bar that we were building, but 
we didn't quite finish it, but we're getting there. We're almost done. Um, but we're not gonna worry about that right now. We're gonna go play the Smith family. So let's let's hop in. We're on the road to nowhere. Come on inside. <laughs> Hello guys. <laughs> Uh, thank you so much for giving out a gift sub, Triple Consonant. Thank you for giving a gift sub to Inessis. And thank you for the two months at Tier 1, Beth Like Sims. And thank you for the 100 bits, Derpy P. Thank you so much. Jenny does... Is it Jenny who wants 10 kids? I think Jenny and Paul both want 10 kids. I believe. He's closer than her. Yeah. Oh, thank you for the 100 bit stay at home simmer. Thank you so much. Oh, you're moving. Oh, 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 you're moving to new land. Oh, how exciting. How exciting. Yes, do not let me forget. We are gonna watch hot drinks. I promised it. It's gonna happen. I swear it's gonna happen. <laughs> they look so green with all their green clothes. They are a green family. This is a green family. And I don't mean environmentally friendly. I mean, they're just green. <laughs> Thank you so much for giving out the gift sub, Lastinitaria. Thank you for giving out the gift sub to Nanny Nanny Nanny. Thank you so much. Thank you for the 100 bits, it's Alex Art. And thank you for the 100 bits, Andre Lins. Andrew Lins. Thank you. I, I feel like I never pronounce anybody's name right. I'm so sorry if I butcher your name. I'm trying my best. Can't wait for the next stream today. Oh, that's right, I've got some announcements to make. I've got some announcements, y'all. First announcement, the Pleasant Sims Discord became a Discord partner, yay! So now, I just remembered I didn't update my, uh, I didn't update my stream command thing. Um, <laughs> but you can now join the, the Pleasant Sims Discord by going to discord.gg slash Pleasant Sims. We have our own URL, that's right. Our own URL. I'm so proud of us. I'm so proud of our uh, Discord. So I have to change the Discord address so that it says Pleasant Sims, but you can still use the old. You can still use the old link too. Oh, thank you so much for the 100 bits. I'm Nub and the 100 bits Tristess. Thank you so much. Okay, second announcement. Shoot, I had like four announcements. <laughs> second announcement. Well, let me just go ahead with this one. In two hours after this stream ends. I'm gonna be a guest on another stream for uh, on the Grand Dames stream. I don't know if you've heard of the Grand Dames. It's the Grandma Gamers. So Shirley Curry is there. Uh, Jessa from the Jessa channel is there, and two other streamers. I can't think of their names. I'm sorry. I'll get their names. And uh, I'm gonna be on. I'm gonna be a guest on their stream on YouTube, and we're gonna be talking about body positivity. So I hope some of you guys can join us over there. Um, I will get the link for you as well. I'll put the link here. To the stream some sometime in a minute <laughs> let me go get it let me go get it copy link so here's a link to us to the stream right here in the chat so if you click on that you can like set a reminder or like see what time it starts in your time zone so i hope some of you guys can come join us for that uh that's gonna be pretty fun i'm excited i've never been a guest on another stream before so i'm a little bit nervous about it <laughs> I, I hope it goes okay and what else? I feel like there was something else. And I think there will probably be a playback of that stream too. If you can't make it, you could probably watch it back on there on the Grand Dames channel. Uh oh, my new my second channel has been a, more successful than I imagined it would be in a couple of days. So I got four thousand subscribers over there, and I really appreciate all you guys who subscribed. And uh, if you haven't checked it out yet, go check it out. It's called Life Plus Cindy. I changed, oh, I changed the name of it. That's my other announcement. <laughs> uh, thank you so much for the Prime Sub Simternet Master. Thank you very much. So my second channel, I changed the name of it because I wanted to get away from the Pleasant name and kind of like separate that from the Sims, from the Pleasant Sims. So I named it Life Plus Cindy is what I changed the name to. So yes, Nathan congratulated me on that. So I've got more content coming for that channel next week. And here's my other announcement. I've got a Let's Play coming to Pleasant Sims next week. Also, a new Let's Play. Sims 2. 
Sims 2. It's actually going to be, oh, thank you so much, Karma. It's actually going to be a continuation of my original Sim Pleasant View, my original Pleasant View with Fabian and Faith Landgrab and all of those guys. But it's going to be, I'm gonna play it in a way where you could start there. Like you don't have, if you, ha if you haven't watched all the previous ones, Thank you, thank you. Because there's like 67 or something episodes in my first Pleasant View Let's Play. So if you haven't watched all of those, you can start here. And I'm just going to start telling the stories of the family. It's going to be Pleasant View the next generation. That way I can get, people won't feel so overwhelmed with trying to start in at episode 68 or something like that. So yeah, that's how I'm going to, that's how I'm kind of, kind of going to do it. It's going to come out next week. Um, Monday or Tuesday, probably the first episode will come out as soon as I can get it edited. Because I, I recorded the episodes yesterday. Um, thank you so much for the five months at tier one, Mr. Roboto. Thank you. Thank you for the nine month prime sub. She weigh it. A uh, hype train compete, com compete, complete. Your community contributed a total of 27 sub gifts and 750 bits. And yes, we are going to watch hot drinks. Yes, we are. We are, we are. Radio station. Yes. <laughs> That's not a radio station. <laughs> Oh my God, that's not a radio station. Yes, Pleasant View is back. I did not finish the bar. The bar is not finished. It's it's just exactly how we left it. Because <laughs> I was too busy recording for the Let's Play to go back and work on it. Yes, but for those of you who have seen the previous 60 something episodes, you will know all the history already, but I'm also gonna kind of give you a little refresher as I play through the next generation of the Let's Play. So you don't have to know the history. When warms you up, when you feel you're slow, when Wendy's, we always serve it right away. Add a smile and have a nice day. Okay, let me see how much time we have left in the four days left in fall. We have four days left with this family. Is that right? Or did we finish their round? Hmm, Nathan, how did you know? Yes, it's the burbs. Shh, shh, it's the burbs. <laughs> um, maybe we should make a wiki for the le for the Pleasant View. That's a good idea, Nikki. We can make another wiki. That's a good idea, Nikki. We can, we can make another wiki. I was a poet and didn't know it. Um, so I know you do, Nathan. I know you do. It was actually supposed to be the um what's the blue water village family this the tessa the ramirez but i didn't want to start a pleasant view let's play with a blue water village family so i thought we're just going to start with the burbs everybody knows the burbs we'll go back and play the ramirez's <laughs> can we get you singing hot drinks with the ringtone yes did we just start it, Ladybug K? Okay, we just started it. I didn't know if we just started it or we ended it. So we just started. So we actually have three days left to play them. Okay, perfect, perfect. Um, all right. Nikki Wiki Bobicky Fee Fafo Ficky. Uh, okay, and thank you so much for the five month prime sub, Kira. Thank you very much. And I got a bag for gift sub from Brandy Broke. Brandy Broke would like a gift sub. Oh, thank you, Melancholy gifted a, a gift sub to Brandy Broke. Welcome, Brandy. I'm glad you're here. <laughs> Another Brandy, Nathan. I know, I was wondering if that was you. Okay, guys, so in the... Let's get into the family here. Paul wants to have 10 children. Lord help us. Jenny wants to have 10 children. <laughs> and she wants to have another baby. Um, And they tried for baby. Let me see, what time? I think they just tried for baby. I wrote it down. They tried for baby at 7 p.m., like, so 50 minutes ago. So we need to keep our eye out on Jenny. Oh, she's sleeping it off. Oh, they're sleeping it off. They're sleeping it off. We got to keep our eye out to see if she got prego. Now, she has 11 days until she becomes an elder, so it is possible. It is possible. Um, thank you so much for the four, for the seven months prime sub, Trob, Trob, Trob. <laughs> and thank you so much for the four months it's here one uh, red light bulb and let me do a hydrate let me do a hydrate sims Rev oh the sims revolution oh yeah yeah i know what you're talking about 
the Duggars of Strangetown. Only they're not so strict. They're not so strict. And so in our last stream, Jill, she just became an adult, y'all. She did not want to go to college. She just wanted to age up. And she is still romantically involved with Buck, but Buck has not aged up yet. He is still a teenager. Um, but she's still, they're still in a romantic relationship. She wants to be friends with Edward and Caitlin. She is a popularity sim, so there's going to be a lot of friend making. She hasn't had the want to get a job yet. She's just living off her family right now, living living with her parents. Um, she looks super cute, though. She She's very beautiful like her mom. <laughs> she's very good. She's a very good looking sim. And then we have, uh, of course, our little twins. Our little twins, Jade and Judy. And they have just become uh, children. So they're going to be, oh boy, little Judy. Judy's got the alien face. Where are you, Judy? Let's look at you. Let me look at your face. Oh God. Oh God. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that face. <laughs> a face only a mother could love. Yeah, thank you so much for the four month prime sub, Raukim, Raukim Strohist. I know I'm not saying that right. And uh, I got a shout out from Shadow Wave. Cindy for streaming just as I need my Sims 2 fix and can't play this weekend. Oh, I'm so sorry. That sucks. Oh, she wants to do her homework. I'm going to lock that in. She wants to get homework help. I'm going to lock that in too. She wants to be friends with Floyd. I don't know if she's related to Floyd. No, she's not. <laughs> I don't know who's related to who in this damn town anymore. Yeah, his jeans have got to go. I'm not, don't, you don't judge Judy. <laughs> don't judge Judy. Um, okay, so I guess let's just get started here. And, oh, I, oh, you wanted a screenshot? Okay, hold on, let's go back. Let's go, let's go get a screenshot of, what's her face? What's her face's face up here? Come here, honey, come here. No, I need no, I can't get the perfect angle like I had before. Aha! <laughs> That's a perfect screenshot right there. Oh, let me get my head out of it a little bit more. Perfect, perfect. <laughs> Floyd is Kristen's kid, yeah. Yeah. I know, poor thing. Poor thing. She's got that tiny little nose. She does. Well, let's get started, I guess. And I think, did we just have a party or something? Yeah, we just had a party. Everybody's leaving. We just had Jill's party. Oh my God, Jenny, you know what? We need to actually get her up and get her some food because if she is prego, we have to take really good care of her because we don't want her to lose the baby. Still more beautiful than Cassandra and Mary Sue? No, no. I, th I like Cassandra. And Mary Sue. I, st I still think they're cuter than her. <laughs> Your dog's name is Judy and she's going to surgery on Wednesday? Oh, I'm so sorry. I hope she's okay. Oh, I didn't have the walls up, damn it. Too late, Nikki. I forgot. Thank you for reminding me, but I didn't see it. Yes, we must protect the baby at all costs. So let's get her in here. I don't know what kind of food we have available. There's leftovers, whatever there is, she can eat it. Get yourself some leftovers. She is a baby making factory, yes. Well, she's only had four kids though. It's not that many. Not as many as the burbs in my Pleasant View, let me tell you. Ooh, they got a lot of kids over there. Um, Get yourself some pancake. No, get yourself some whatever that is. I don't know what that is. He love them anyway. <laughs> yeah, the police driving by. That's Eggs Benedict. Perfect. Perfect. Uh, thank you so much for the Prime Sub Jinxy Sims. Or Jinx Sims. Thank you so much. Thank you for the 200 bits. Uh, Sakanak. Thank you so much. Get yourself an outfit. <laughs> Get yourself an outfit. She needs an outfit. She's walking around in her underwear. Uh, I'm trying to read your thing here. Um, yeah, that's a good. I uh, that's a good idea for a channel points reward, Jessica. I like that. Yeah, let me see if I can add that. I like that idea. I like that idea. 
Angel of Pleasant of the Sims 3 is a baby making factory. No kidding. No kidding. All right, Jenny. Uh, you know what? I'm just, just to be extra safe, I'm going to get her one more plate of food. I just want to be really super safe in case she did get prego. Get, get you a plate of that. I don't know what that is. It looked like salad. She must be pregnant. She's eating eggs, Benedict, and chef salad for dinner. <laughs> oh, radio station. My favorite song and my favorite station. I don't know what my favorite song is. Um, but I will play... Where's the radio? I will play the R&B station. Because <laughs> I love the R&B station. You think Babby's been formed? I don't know. Oh, should we do a prediction? I do not want to play the Eagles. Let's do a prediction. Hold on. Prediction. First, we're going to do a prediction. It Did she get Prego? Will Jenny get Prego? Okay. Will Jenny get pregnant before it's too late? Is she now or will she become pregnant in this stream? Yes or no? It doesn't. She doesn't have to be pregnant right now. It's will she get pregnant, period, in this stream. Uh, yes or no? I'll give you... I'll give you two minutes. I don't want to give you too much time in case she starts showing signs. I'm going to start prediction. And then after that, we will predict on the uh, gender of the baby if she gets prego. All right. Back to it. Eat your, eat your salad, Jenny. You're about to risk it all. <laughs> uh, thank you so much for the three-month prime sub, Phoebe Rose. Okay, now go. Did you turn on the radio? Who turned it on? Is it already on R&B? Wow, it turned on automatically to the station I wanted it on. The game can read my mind. I'm becoming one with The Sims 2. <laughs> oh God, I'm coughing. I'm gonna drink my coffee. <laughs> Now let's send her back to bed. She needs to go get some more sleep and then I'm gonna check in on the rest of the family. I think everybody's in bed by now, except for you, Jill. She's staying up late because why not? She doesn't have to go to school. <laughs> she doesn't have to go to college. She doesn't have a job. She can do whatever she wants if she wants to stay up late and watch TV. Um, her hobby is watching TV or watching movies and TV actually. Hey, Jenny, why don't you go to bed? Why are you just standing there in the kitchen staring at the window? Uh, are we going to have to reset the bed? Hold on. Adjust. Wait, wait, wait. Adjust. Bed ownership. Oh, no. She, is she going? No, she's going. Damn it. Come back here. Come back here. She's going to take a bath. Adjust bed ownership. We're going to have to clear bed ownership before we can get her back to bed. Now, nobody's going to remember where their bed is. It's kind of annoying. Uh, thank you so much. Salsa, Nathan. <laughs> Thank you so much for the nine month prime sub, Melanie 356, and the 11 months at tier three, Danny. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. I think you're my second 11 month I've seen. Okay, enough with that. Enough with that. You need to go to your bed. Or first change this to salsa. <laughs> I got a few seconds of my precious RB. Yeah, I know it's the smart bed that caused it. Yeah, I know. Sometimes you have to reset the the bed ownership. Just, you just have to reset it. I don't know why. I don't know why it does that from time to time. But first, salsa. Aw, <laughs> uh, thank you, Ix. Ix, thank you. Uh, you kept having bed glitch issues in The Sims 3. I have never had bed issues in The Sims 3 before. Yeah, there's a fight between- Oh no, R&B again! <laughs> okay, I'll have to change it when somebody wakes up. Let me do a save game. And I got a shout out from Ravenclaw Owen to people in my music class for blasting Careless Whisper and never gonna give you up on their Chromebooks and me for banging my head against my desk because I can't stand George Michael. You know what? I love never gonna give you up. Never gonna give you up. But that's not George Michael, but it's still a good song and I don't care what you say. I'm taking that to the grave. 
<laughs> okay, keep it salsa. Okay, sorry. Oh, we got surf. And then we got back to salsa. I didn't even get to hit R&B and surf. I'm sorry, we're back to salsa. <laughs> I wish Synth Pop was the station in the game. <laughs> uh, we can watch hot drinks when somebody when somebody redeems a commercial break. Yeah. Careless Whisper, is that the one with the se sexy sax in it? Because I love that sexy sax. <laughs> yeah, that's Rick Astley. You keep you keep purposely getting Rick rolled. Never gonna give you up. Never gonna let you down. Never gonna turn around and desert you. Ooh, commercial break. All right, we're gonna watch hot drinks now. Let me save. Uh, and let me go find. Let me go pull it up, y'all. Let me go pull it up. Hot drinks. I'm just going to type hot drinks and Google knows. Google knows what I need. Okay, no it doesn't. Screw you, Google. I got to type hot drinks Wendy's. Fine. Fine, okay? I thought you anticipated my needs, Google. I'm so disappointed in you. All right, here it comes. So if you haven't ever seen hot drinks before, you are in for such a treat. Such a treat. This is the best thing in the world, okay? This is the best, single-handedly, the best music video I have ever seen in my life. And uh, I am not being sarcastic. I mean it. This is pure gold. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> Aw, thanks, Jessica. All right, here we go. <laughs> so now you've seen hot drinks. The best thing ever. Yes, that is actually a training video. No, don't you, don't do that. There's more, but none of them are as good as hot drinks. They have other ones, but none of them are as good. And that is actually what they watched in like 1989 when they went to go work at Wendy's. They would sit you in a room and show you that video. <laughs> it's so good, it's so good. It's like a really good song. That guy is awesome. Yeah, it's Grammy worthy, I'm telling you. Um, it's so good. So that's where the hot drinks thing came from on this channel because we watched it one day and we we all loved it and it just got, sort of stuck around. <laughs> have a nice day. Yes, that was the 80s. Yes, it was the late 80s. Um, thank you so much for the 100 bits, Light and Frost. Jake, thank you. Uh, I got a... Uh, thank you so much for gifting a sub to Mirror's Edge Tristess. Thank you guys so much. <laughs> Yeah, we have to watch East Hills again. We haven't watched that in a long time. Somebody found him on Twitter, Nikki. Somebody emailed, messaged me and said that they have found this guy. And I forgot, I never looked him up. I need to look him up. Um, but he's on Twitter. I don't, I don't know what he does. We're gonna, we're gonna have to go check him out. Yeah. Oh, he works in politics now. Oh, thank you, Blissful Siren. He works in politics now. Yeah, that was how you could remember how to do the hot drinks when you worked at Wendy's from that song. Uh, thank you so much for the five month prime sub, Sunko. Thank you. Yeah. Um, I'm leaving that one room empty because I want to. <laughs> Whenever they get older, they can have their own room. That used to be Johnny's room, but now it's just like a, I don't know, it's like a, it's like a den or like a lounge or something. Um, but we will probably put the new baby over there. Or we'll put the new baby down here. I don't know. They can have their own, own room when they grow up and I feel like decorating it. <laughs> he should be on Broadway. No kidding. We're on speed one because I want to be. Damn it. Because <laughs> I'm chatting. I'm just going to make you sit here. We're just going to play the whole game on speed one. I'm just kidding, we won't, we won't. Uh, but I was kind of checking out what everybody's sleeping status was like for the moment. Uh, it's almost time for everybody to wake up, so I guess I'll put, I guess I'll put it on speed three. I just realized I need to put my, uh, my car spawning hydrants in Pleasant View. I don't think I have those in Pleasant View. I don't mind, I like playing on speed one, except for, you know, when they're sleeping. Oh, Jenny's gotta go to work. Get up, Jenny. Get up, Jenny. Uh, go to the bathroom, take a shower. I thought she already took a bath last night, but I guess she didn't. 
take a shower and let's see if she got knocked up. If she didn't, we'll try again today. She's still got 11 days. She gets home from work at 2 p.m. So they'll be able to try before she before her 10 before she has 10 days. Have a good <laughs> reputation. Give back rub to pollination technician. Ask them on date. You know what, guys? I've been thinking a lot about secondary aspirations. And I don't like them. <laughs> I don't like secondary aspirations. Um, I I like my Sims to be to be what they are. I, I want them to be their primary aspiration. I don't want all these other wants just weaseling their way in there. I don't like my family Sims wanting to go date other people. I don't like it. <laughs> so I'm thinking I'm gonna stop using them. Because I whenever I was playing Pleasant View, and I think John Burb has a secondary romance, and I was like, this is just not him. I just don't like it. Um yeah. Pleasure's gotta go. Pleasure's gotta go. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I'm really thinking about stopping using them. I never used to use them. And I, I, oh, is she going to work now? All right, good. I never used to use them. And I started using them, uh, when I was making my original Pleasant View Let's Play. Because somebody commented like, why don't you ever use secondary aspirations? And I was like, I don't know. I don't know. God. <laughs> so then I started using them. And now, several years later... I think I'm gonna stop using them again. Um, why don't you go get yourself some breakfast, honey, honey bunch? Instead of trying to dance with your sister. And we gotta get you some homework help. Paul is here, he's good, he can help you with your homework after he gets out of the shower and eats some breakfast. Maybe we'll have time. If for now, why don't you just go work on your homework yourself? Or have they been to school? Yeah, they've definitely been to school at least one day. Where's their homework? Here's one of them. That's Judy's homework. Oh God, we're never gonna find Jade's homework. Did she put it outside? Yes. Go out on the sidewalk and do your homework, child. <laughs> go do your homework. This one wants to do her homework too. Oh no, she needs to go to the bathroom and stuff though. I'm not caring for them very well. Uh, eat some pancakes, whoever you are. Use the bathroom. You've got one hour, kid. You've got one hour, go get it together. Eat that. She hates her homework, yeah. <laughs> I don't, I'm not, I don't know. I'm not crazy about, right now I'm not crazy about secondary aspirations. Sometimes I change my mind over time, you know, how I want to play. Um, but right now I'm just not feeling it. No, Jill does not have a job. She's had no desire to get a job. She only wants to make friends. Okay, we got to take care of you. Uh, you need to take a shower. I don't think you're gonna have time to eat. You're gonna have to eat at school. You're gonna have to eat at school, Judy. Sweet Judy Blue Eyes. <laughs> yeah, that's true, the Orb of Wisdom. It does suit some Sims better than others. Cassandra is a good secondary knowledge. I agree with that. But it's like, I don't like romance secondaries. And I don't like pleasure secondaries. I don't like those wants like creeping in on my Sims that I don't feel like that suits them. Your school had a breakfast sub breakfast club. Uh, okay, I got a oh I got a bag for gift sub from an armadillo pinata. Oh, thank you, Jess. <laughs> thank you, Jessica Cheyenne, for gifting a sub to an armadillo pinata. You guys are on it today. Thank you so much. And I got a shout out from Carrie Kent to Cindy for always putting her enjoyment first when it comes to content. If you want to change the rules, you go, girl. We love to see you have fun. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, I have to do. I have to do what I have to do to have fun. Or I couldn't play. You know, I couldn't play for a living. I hate pleasure sims. I don't even play pleasure sims at all. Yeah, you could do some kind of rule like that. That's true, Hendrick. You could do that. All right, let's make sure the girls are getting off to school. Okay, you can stop doing your homework now. You'll get partial credit. You'll get partial credit for that homework, so you go ahead and go to school. Paul, um, he's good just to hang out today. He wants to be friends with Ishmael. Oh, he wants to be friends with Ishmael. This is so sweet. And he wants to be friends with Holly. Let's see. Call up Holly and talk to her on the phone. 
And then you, Jill, I guess we'll be focusing on you today, on your life, on your life of leisure that you have here. <laughs> no job, no school. She's just hanging out, making friends. She wants to be friends with Caitlin Goss and Edward Fuchs. Um, let's see who she's closest to becoming friends with. It's going to be Edward Fuchs. So we'll have her. Oh, I was going to have her call. Okay, Paul, never mind. You're not a priority. We're focusing on Jill. Jill's going to use the phone. Hey, Dad, get off the phone. I need to use the phone. Call uh, Sim. Call Edward. And chat with him. It shouldn't take her long to become friends with him. That's true, Hendrick, but I like that. I like that it's a challenge to get my people to the top of their career. Almost none of my Sims get to the top of their career. It's very rare, but I like that. I think that's realistic. Um, let's, let's just chat today. Let's just talk. Maybe we can get her to re-roll. Jill the Neat. Not in employment education or training. Yes. <laughs> Secondaries as a midlife crisis. Like if they age up badly, they get a secondary. Ooh, that's a. I like that idea. I like that. Now you just want to be best friends. Oh, she wants to get a skill point. She's got a logic and a cooking. Let's try a charisma for her. Okay, hang up. Sorry, gotta go. Thanks for being my friend. Let's try a charisma for her because I think she could probably like work in politics or something like that. Uh, let's go upstairs to her room. Practice speech. She def. I think she definitely needs to develop her charisma as a popularity sim, regardless. Um, I I may do something like that where it's based on their personality and zodiac. I don't know. I don't know if I want to use them at all. I have to think about it. I don't. Right now, I don't like using them at all. So I don't know. We'll see how I feel. The beanbag chair is an unfortunate shape. I think it's a nice shape. Looks like a, looks like you could sit there. Kind of looks like a ball sack. Is that what you're trying to say? <laughs> uh, thank you so much for the eight months at tier one cottage peach. Thank you very much. Oh, a jock strap. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I thought you meant it looked like a, a sack. Scrotal vibes. <laughs> you like random lifetime what? Oh no, I oh what is her lifetime what? Become an icon. I don't I don't know if that's gonna stay her lifetime what. We have to wait and see what she wants to do with her life. Because so far she hasn't wanted to actually get a job. So if she doesn't end up wanting to get a job, which I'm not sure that she will. Maybe she will when we move her out. Be friends with Caitlyn. Uh, we may have to change that. If she doesn't, to something else. Is there a phone up here somewhere? We need a phone upstairs. Let's put a phone in this other room. Yes, yes. Put the phone in here. And go and call uh, Caitlyn. I'm gonna check in on Paul every once in a while. He's doing fine. He wants to have a party. Of course he does. See, he has a secondary popularity, I believe. Okay, call up Caitlyn. Chat with her. She's not home. Never mind. I think he has a secondary... Hold on. Yeah, he has a secondary popularity, and I don't like it. I don't like it. I want him to have more family wants, you know? There's already one in that room? Where? Oh. <laughs> I bought a second phone. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get rid of that one. We don't need two phones. Oops. <laughs> uh, well, today everybody's at work and school, so there's like not a lot to do today. There's not a lot to do right now. She wants to meet someone new. I wouldn't mind taking her down to the bar, but it's not quite finished yet. So yeah. Uh, hello. Hello, Banny, Banny Garu. <laughs> I couldn't read your name because it's in blue. 
They need two phones. They're so popular. Thank you for the prime sub, Margarita Wagner. Thank you. Thank you for the six month prime sub, Hula Zombie. Oh, I gotta hydrate. I'm gonna hydrate with coffee. Is that hydrating? That's hydrating for me. Um, I, well, I'm going to leave it for now until I decide what I want to do. I'm not 100% sure. He's just having a drink. What else are you going to do in your retirement besides stand around and have a drink at the bar? <laughs> it's the two steps forward, one step back of hydration. <laughs> You're hydrating with wine. <laughs> All right, here, go to the bathroom. That's all I can do for you, send you to the bathroom. And, well, you know what, Jill? Let's go somewhere. Let's go somewhere and see if you can meet someone new. We're gonna walk till, it's it's raining, but that's okay. Actually, change your clothes. Wait, we can't use that? Okay, change into your everyday outfit. We're heading out. <laughs> Oh, your name is make believe backwards. I didn't even notice that. Wow. <laughs> I just call you Evie. Oh, you got a new hedgehog? Oh my god. Where what are you doing, Jill? I just told you to get dressed. You just got in the bathroom line. Okay, fine. Take your bath and then we'll go out on the town. What a life she has. What a carefree life. drinks hits harder slinging those back ipa oh god Ooh. all right let's go we're gonna walk to lot community lot we're gonna go down to the strip mall see who's see who's hanging out down there i want to go to the bar but there's not a bar in there yet so it's just a building we're gonna put a restaurant in there too I have some coffee. I had to have coffee today. Lazlo woke me up at four o'clock this morning. Thank you so much for the two month prime sub raisin and sneakers this morning and yesterday. He woke, he decided to wake us up at 4 a.m. And it's like so hard to get back to sleep because I usually get up at six. And it's like those two hours. I'm just not going, going back to sleep very well. Yeah, we do. We need another Laszlo jump. <laughs> I hate the pleasure aspiration, personally. I don't know why. I don't know why I don't like it. <laughs> yeah, he is help. I know that's what I told Mr. Pleasant. He's helping us. It'd be just like having a baby. Constantly getting woken up all night. <laughs> Your cat started at 5 a.m. for you. And like, he doesn't want anything. He just wants us to wake up. He just wants to bo to bother us. Like yesterday I, went, I was like, okay, are you hungry? He had food in his bowl. He just wanted us to wake up. <laughs> I hate pleasure. Okay, she's here. Let's see who, who can we meet? Who can we meet? I guess you can meet some of the cashiers. Um, do you know Tycho? Yeah, you know oh, your friend. You're best friends with Tycho. You don't know Gary Walton. I don't care about Gary. Margaret. Meet Mar Margaret's mean though. I don't want her to meet Margaret. We'll see if anybody else shows up. Oh, you have a tortoiseshell cat. She's really, really loud. <laughs> Lazlo is um uh, you know what? Let's meet River. He's very talkative, but not like loud, but he talks a lot. Go greet River Smith. That'll be your new person to meet. What are her turn ons? I'm just curious. I know she's in a relationship, but I just want to know. No, that's what I always do that. Blonde hair and logical. Maybe we should have had her meet Gary Walton. <laughs> <laughs> Your cat tells you when to go to bed and when to wake up. I'm trying to meet some. Okay, well, she met this guy, Benny Lucas. Hello, Benny. And now she wants to have a party. She's like, finally, I've met enough people to throw a party. Uh, Where are you, Benny? 
Where are you on the relationship panel? Why don't I see you here? That's odd. Hmm. Oh, I have family only, geez. Oh, she does not like him. No chemistry. No chemistry at all. She's just browsing for clothes now. Well, that was fun. That was a fun outing, Jill. <laughs> that was a complete waste of time. Time to go home. <laughs> she doesn't want to do anything here. She just wants to throw a party. <laughs> I know so many cars in the disabled spots. I know. Uh, thank you so much for the uh, two months at tier one. Oh, hey, Lauren. Thank you. <laughs> deck, deck. All right, we're leaving. No, don't chase us. Benny, get back. I think Benny's obsessed, y'all. <laughs> He's chasing her down the street. <laughs> Go away, Benny. Go away. She just had to meet someone. Jill's in a relationship with Buck, so Tank is already with somebody else. I don't think she's gonna go for Tank. <laughs> Once your cat had both of her paws on your cheeks and screamed at your face to wake up, jeez. My cat's not that bad. He almost knocked over a, a thing of water. That's how he woke me up this morning. Uh, because we keep, like, this pitcher of water on the dresser to fill up the um, humidifier because it's really, really dry in the winter here. So we keep a humidifier running in our bedroom. So we have, like, this pitcher of water beside it. And he decided he was going to just push that off. It it's, like a it's like a pitcher, like this big. Like this big. He decided he was just going to push that off the dresser. It got all the way to the edge. And I was like, ah! <laughs> so that's what I woke up to. Uh, Jenny's home from work. All right, she's very proud of herself. Yes, as cats do. <laughs> she's very proud. Great job. Great job, Jenny. I'm, I'm proud of you, too. Hey, she wants to woohoo. Okay, let's check out her needs. You know what? There's always time. Hey, look, he's already in here waiting for her. He's already in here. <laughs> he was in here waiting when she got home from work. <laughs> Oh, he already knew. He already knew she was going to be in the mood for a woohoo. <laughs> yeah, congratulations for handling those stupid patients, Jenny. No, get back here. Get back here and relax. Get in bed. We're going to woohoo. We're going to try again uh, for the for the baby. I don't know if she's prego right now, but we're about to try again regardless. So we'll have... Her try. I'm gonna go to casual try for baby. <laughs> no, cats are actually wonderful. I, I, he can get, he can be annoying sometimes, but I love my cat. He's a really neat creature to have around. <laughs> Paul is always prepared for a nut. <laughs> he drinks at 11 a.m. and waits for woohoo in bed. That's his retirement. Okay, well, they tried again, and now we need to get Jenny some food again. I don't think there's much left to eat long, here. Long, 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 long. <laughs> no, I don't want a pregnancy test mod. I just want to wait until they pop. That's all I want. <laughs> you can find it on YouTube. Just look for Long Long Man. I love it too. I love it so much. The commercials are so good. Okay, eat some of that. <gasps> eat some more Eggs Benedict. I know how you like your Eggs Benedict. And Paul, I'm gonna actually have him come and cook some more food. Cause he has, he has a pretty high cooking skill. So come make some Hamburgers. That'll work. And then you. What are you doing? Just standing around outside. Uh, let's get you inside to get something to eat too. She wants to throw a party. I mean, I guess we could throw a house party. <laughs> Your parents are just walking around in their underwear. 
All right, throw a party then. House party. <laughs> That's all she, what a life she has. She just parties, doesn't have a, any responsibility. Her parents just let her do anything. <laughs> Okay, who are we gonna invite? We're gonna invite all of her friends, Edward, Buck, basically a bunch of teenagers, Johnny. We'll invite Caitlin too, since she wants to be friends with Caitlin. Okay, that's enough. That's enough people to invite to the party. <laughs> She's throwing a party, all right. Missing some of your party guests. Oh, some of our party guests aren't showing up. And she wants to have a great party, so that's what we're gonna work on for her. Uh, I also need to keep an eye on the girls. Okay, she's having fun. She desperately needs her fun up. And this one's upstairs playing. She needs to work on her homework. Is this her homework? Yes, so let me, let me, let me put this on the ground over here. And I'm gonna have her go and ask Cole to help her with her homework. Hopefully that works out for us. And then Jenny, we just got to keep your needs up. Aw, she just gave uh, Jill a kiss. That was so sweet. And look, perfect timing. Paul just cooked hamburgers for everyone. What the hell are you wearing, Kendall? Kendall Lawson. <laughs> what? She's wearing a medieval gown. That's her adult outfit. <laughs> okay, if that's what you want to wear, I'm cool with it. She just got back from the Renaissance Fair. She works at Medieval Times. That's it. Yes, like Lilith at college. Yes. Have some hamburgers from my underwear-clad father. Okay, Jenny, we gotta, we gotta get you out of here. Go. Oh my God, are these two? Oh, what are they doing? What? No, Jenny, don't go in there. <laughs> don't go in there. Oops. Go upstairs. I think that uh, Jill and Buck are about to woohoo in their parents' bed. Um, <laughs> they're relaxing. They're relaxing. Okay, let's see. She can get pregnant. You know that? She can get pregnant right now. By the way, just saying. Yeah, they're doing a casual woohoo. We really need to get her her own double bed because this being it. Hey, what the hell are you doing here, General Buzz? No, you get out of here. Don't come in my house and eat my chips. What are you doing? What is he? What? Okay. Uh, where'd he go? I think we need to tell him to leave. He's a jerk. Well, you know what? They don't have a negative relationship anymore. Maybe he's trying to get better. Maybe he's trying to get better. Johnny's old room isn't any bigger than her than her room. Jill is Jenny's still just walking around in her underwear. Okay, Jenny. <laughs> you really need to get dressed now, honey. There's you've got guests over. Just go please change it to your everyday clothes. <laughs> Oh my goodness. And Jill. All right, that's fine. What just happened? Oh my God, this kid just aged up. Holy crap, Edward just aged up. Edward's been promoted to surveillance operator and he just aged up. Um, okay, I guess this was his birthday party then. That's what we'll say. This was his birthday party. No, I'm not gonna age anybody else up with him. That's it. Edward's grown into an adult. All right, Edward. <laughs> That's cool, I guess. I wonder if she has any uh, attraction to him. I'm just curious. I have to have her talk to him again. Um, all right, party time. Party is not bad, but we need to make it better than that because she wants to have a great party. First, <laughs> though, I need to take care of her needs in case she got pregnant too. Who even knows? We can have two pregnancies here. Hey, she's trying to use that turlet. She's trying to use that turlet book. <laughs> Anything goes in the Smith house. Anything goes. She's really got to go. Okay, go eat, I guess. Go eat a hamburger before there aren't any more. 
And let's check on the rest of the family. Where are you? Okay, you're doing fine. This They all have to go to the bathroom, and I feel like we don't have enough bathrooms. Go here. Um, did you ever help this kid with her homework? No. No, of course not. We'll have to do that tomorrow. Wait. Why is Edward part of my family? <laughs> uh... <laughs> Edward? How did you get into this family? What the hell? <laughs> what the hell? Why did he get into this family? How did he get into this family? I don't think I've ever had that happen before. Did they just join the family if they age up? Okay, you're out, Edward. <laughs> He's squatting there. He's like, I live here now. Thanks for inviting me to the party. I live here now. Okay, let's check in on Jenny. I don't think she's prego. She wants to dance. We'll have her give him a back rub, maybe. And Jill, oh my God, Jill, eat your hamburger. What are you doing? She can't sit at that desk? Why can she not sit at that desk? Oh, no, she can. The party is a good time, but it's not a great time. But I have to get her to eat, just in case. <laughs> He's been adopted. <laughs> yeah, he wants to live here, too. Too bad. Too bad. Uh, I, I hope she's not pregnant, but then again, I love having babies. <laughs> No, she got to, she sat there. It was fine. I don't know why she was complaining. Maybe it was because of the shelf. Let's get her to the bathroom and then she, we've got to have her go talk to her guests to try to make this party better. With what little time we have left. Uh, why don't you go talk to Johnny? Um, let's just do a quick gossip. Talk to Tycho. Here, we'll have you talk to Tycho. Chat, talk chat yes i know paul i know let's talk guys let's talk let's chat what the heck is pascal curious doing here we didn't invite him he just showed up too we had a par party crasher i'm trying to make the party better uh where are the kids in bed you need to go to bed child we'll do your homework in the morning go to bed go to bed early you can get up early and do your homework uh, Jenny is taking a bath. We have to have her eat again. <laughs> and you guys chat. We need we need a roof raiser here. We totally need a roof raiser. She's he's chatting with him. You can chat with him. All right, there we go. They're chatting. I think. Chat with Edward. Why don't we chat with Edward? Or influence someone to talk to another sim. Okay, let's influence to talk to Edward. There we are. Go talk to Edward. He's part of the family now. <laughs> oh, good time fulfills it? Oh, I thought it had to be a roof raiser. <laughs> I love that joke. I mean, that laugh, not that joke. Oh, Tank is still here. I mean, but General Buzz is still here. What the heck? <laughs> what the heck's going on? I can't keep up with what's happening. The influence did not work. She's going to go flirt suggestively with Buck. So whatever. Whatever. Uh, thank you so much for gifting us up to Natalie 9510 Triple Consonant. Thank you very much. And I also got a Ask Me Anything from Suko. Do I still have the illness and miscarriage mods installed? Yes. Yes, I do. I have both of them. Hey, Barb's here. Barb, we have so many party crashers. What the heck? And these two just go into town right in front of the TV. Everybody's trying to watch TV and they're just like, you know what? Sorry, guys. Can't help ourselves here. <laughs> oh my God. Thank you so much for the eight months of Prime sub, I suspect Nargles 9. Okay, it was a roof raiser. All right. Yay. So her want is fulfilled. Goodbye, everyone. Get the hell out of our house.
<laughs> get out, get out. Uh, thank you so much for giving out a gift sub, Athleen Plays. Thank you for giving a gift sub to Lily Zolly. Tall girl and short boy. <laughs> Now that everyone's out, I can check on the family again. Okay, Paul's like, I'm exhausted. I'm going straight to bed. Um, Jenny, you also need to go. She's eating an instant meal. I'm going to give her some real food because I'm really concerned she might be pregnant. Eat something and then go to bed, please. Eat that. Eat some salad. That's good for you. Get some nutrients. And you can just go straight to bed, Missy. You just go straight to bed. I don't think we can fit a uh, double bed in any of these rooms up here. So I think she's gonna be stuck with a single bed for now. Uh, thank you so much for the three month prime sub, Neo Nope. Thank you very much. <laughs> and let's check on the girls. They're sleeping, everything's fine. Everybody's going to bed, except for Jenny. Now she's going to bed. Ooh, what a day. What a day. Jill's just going to keep... Oh, you're doing it again. Dang it. <sighs> These stupid beds sometimes. Okay, go. 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 <laughs> yeah, she is like the mom from Mean Girls. Yeah. And I don't want to... I don't want to build onto the house that much. She's too bad. She's got to have a single bed until she moves out on her own. She can't move out onto her own until she gets a job. Or if she wants to get married, then she'll move out. Otherwise, she's just going to stay here with her parents. And that's her life now. Uh, but Paul is like, man, you need to get married and move out. He wants her to get engaged and get married. <laughs> He's like, you need to get out of here. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see what happens. I think once we play Buck, once he ages up, he's probably going to roll once to get married and stuff. So we'll see. <laughs> you recently watched Mean Girls. I haven't seen it in a couple years. I watched it a couple years ago. Made you nostalgic for the early 2000s. <laughs> it's, a, it's a really good movie. Yeah. <laughs> She's waiting on that inheritance. No, Jenny is not on birth control. No. She no longer fears having a baby. Okay, we're waking up. It's 6 a.m. Everybody wake up. And use the bathroom. You also need to use the bathroom. You'll have to go over here to this one. And she wants to boohoo with three different sims. See, I do not like that. I do not like that she has these romance ones. She is a family sim, damn it. So I think I'm going to reset hers. Jill woke up. She's like, what do I want to do today? Hmm, I think I'll watch a movie. I'm not going to look for a job or do anything. I just want to watch a movie. You know what? I don't blame you. I don't blame you. It, take advantage of this time in your life, Jill. That's what I say. Uh, why don't you have some cereal for breakfast? Oh, we got a meme time and I got to hydrate. Okay. She wants to be popular. Yep. She does. Oh, look at these two. Look at these two, so cute. All right, let me find a meme here. Let's see. What kind of memes do we have today? We want, we saw that one, we saw that one. I don't know why it takes me back. Oh, here's another one of those. <laughs> here's another one of these memes. I relate to this so much. No one, my eyes and pictures. Every damn time. Every damn time I'm like. <laughs> oh my god. That's funny. We're gonna we're gonna do a poop on that. And here's one from Shannon. Peter Rabbit is a boy. Boy rabbits don't lay eggs. Consider Christ instead. What? <laughs> What? Well, that doesn't even make any sense at all. What the? <laughs> um. Okay. <laughs> Who thought up that brilliant sign? Oh my god. There's so many things wrong. <laughs> so many things wrong with that. I don't. 
All right. <laughs> egg? Egg, is that you? Egg? <laughs> egg? You may consume three beans, but no more. They will know if you consume more. <laughs> what the hell is that? Does Christ lay eggs? Because if not, he's out. <laughs> Uh, three beans. Three beans. <laughs> I saw I saw a really funny meme. Let me see if I can find it. Hold on. I saw a really funny meme that that uh is kinda the same point there. Hold on, hold up. It'll be worth it, I swear. I swear. Uh, no, there's so many memes with that. Get rid of them. Here it is. Here it is. Here it is. That is a tiny one, though. I need a big one. It's tiny. Okay, I swear I've got it, guys. I've got it. I had to download the picture. And maybe I can make it bigger. Make it bigger! Make it bigger, I say! Here we go. And then Jesus said, when I get back, I better not see any eggs. I don't care what you do. Paint them, hide them. Just get rid of them. <laughs> and that's why we hide Easter eggs. Now you know. <laughs> oh, that's funny. That's funny. <laughs> that's what you're telling your kids. <laughs> oh, that's funny. The more you know. The more you know. <laughs> they didn't teach you that in Catholic school. I'm sorry you didn't get a good education. <laughs> the power of eggs. <laughs> okay, Jill, as soon as you finish, you're going to go watch a movie. Uh, watch a comedy. Seems like a comedy type of day. It's Thursday here and we still have two days left. So this day and one more day. There was an egg boom. You don't have the tradition of hiding Easter eggs in Poland. It's fun for kids. Um, we always have an egg hunt for the kids in our family. It's pretty fun. I like to hide the eggs. I like to hide them in really hard places where the kids can't find them. And then I sit there and laugh as they look for him. <laughs> yes. You too. You do that too. <laughs> All right. Let me check on Jenny. She needs some more food. I don't know. She might be prego now. Go eat some leftovers. Oh, you're doing fine. How are the kids? Oh my God. You're late for school. Go to school. They still haven't done their homework. <laughs> they still haven't done their homework, poor kids. She's got a C minus, and this one has a B. Uh oh. Uh, Judy's not doing well at all. We've got to get her to do her homework today when she gets home. She's gonna, she's gonna fail. <laughs> we always count how many eggs we have before we hide them to make sure that they were all found. Yeah. <laughs> the episode of Hearts and Parks and Rec with the egg hunt. Man, I love Parks and Rec so much. I have to rewatch the whole series every couple of years. <laughs> in Romania on Easter Monday, you had to dip a painted egg in water and use that to wash your face. Hmm. Farts and Rec. <laughs> okay, Jenny, let's check. Let's. She's doing okay. Uh, I want to have her go. Oh, look, he's already in here waiting. He's already in here waiting, y'all. We're going to try again today. 
You have a mouse rat t-shirt. <laughs> I love that. I love that. <laughs> Put bugs in some of the eggs. <laughs> Kids can't expect candy from everyone. <laughs> we always have a special egg that has money in it. So they have to try to find all the kids want to find the money egg. Um, all right, let's try one more time. I know that uh, Jill just went in here, so she's really going to get an eyeful if she's not done in the bathtub. <laughs> He's always ready for love. He's always ready. They love to woohoo. <laughs> they love to woohoo. All right, what does Jill want to do today? She just wants to be friends with Caitlyn, so we'll have her go call Caitlyn on the phone after she gets out of the bathtub and talk to her, see if she can become friends with her. Her wants have been kind of, I don't know, not that exciting, really. <laughs> That's okay. And Jenny just wants to woohoo all the time, but she wants to have that baby and she wants to have those 10 kids. They're going to have to adopt. Like, there's no way she's going to get 10 kids. Uh, where's Caitlyn? There we are. No, she's never freaking home. I guess she has a job, Jill. Unlike some people I know. <laughs> she's got a job. That was their third try for baby. That was their third one. Okay. If they're not prego, I guess she's they're gonna have to adopt. Let's hope it let's hope it took. <laughs> she has a job. What a loser. Jill's just living her life, and I don't blame her one bit. She's going to clean. Oh, that's nice. She did have the want to get... She's got three skill points. Look at her. She's got a few skills. Not many. Not many. Maybe she'll get another cleaning skill from doing all this autonomous cleaning. <laughs> there we are. Okay. No. <laughs> you had to wipe the sweat off your brow after cleaning out the sink. I'm just gonna let her go. I'm just. Gonna, oh, she's having a drink now. That was that was really hard on her having to clean out that one sink. <laughs> she's like, I need a drink now. <laughs> Three whole skill points. I know. I know. Three whole skill points. Hey, how are these guys doing? Uh, why don't you go cook some more food? Let's cook some grilled cheese. We need to keep this house full of food. Jill, I don't know what to tell you. Um, she wants to be best friends with Edward, BFFs with Tycho, and friends with Caitlyn, and have a good reputation. Like, there's nothing I can do for you at this point. We'll just have to wait until Caitlyn gets home. So I'm going to put my focus over here on these two. I'm so tired of being useless. I need a drink. <laughs> Paul could impregnate someone else instead, but I don't think he would. I don't think he would do that. Oh, she gained a cleaning skill point. Good for her. Is she really clean? Yeah, she's really neat. Um, so yeah, hey, four whole skill points now. Four. Look at that. Look at her go. <laughs> she's racking them up. Yeah, she does. Exactly. She wants to be a socialite and just to get paid for partying. Exactly. He's retired from pollinating. Exactly. He's retired from pollinating. Except for his lovely wife. He'll pollinate her. I'm really concerned that she didn't get prego. And my rules are they can try for baby three times and then they have to adopt. So if she did not get prego, um, they'll be adopting a baby instead. She may just be like, you know, it may her, her baby making days may be behind her. <laughs> He's semi-retired, yeah. Uh, why did I have you go to the bathroom? Go take a bath. And he just wants he just wants to see Jill get married. That's what Paul wants. He wants to see Jill get married and get out of his house. <laughs> no, I don't think he minds having her here. You want to have another party? We're not having a party today because the poor twins have to do their homework tonight. If we have a party, I won't be able to focus on them. His nuts are in retirement. <laughs> so I think, yeah, we still have two days. Okay. I don't think we're going to get any babies in this house. Dang it. Oh, we're going to adopt. We'll adopt something. Somebody. Somewhere. <laughs> 
there's no there's nobody really to be adopted so we might just adopt a little baby he's losing enthusiasm about film and literature oh that's sad we need to get him back into his hobby back into his hobby of film and literature i think his hobby is reading so you know what it's to, he needs to go read a book no not study go read a mystery book in the study stop thinking about woohooing all the time and you grab a plate of sandwiches and then you put these away i think that the drinks should go bad on the bar you know what i mean like they they will sit there for days and days who's gonna drink that after it's been sitting there all that time thank you so much for the two month prime sub tegan malone and okay we did our meme yeah What happens if you try to adopt a child, but there are no townie children? You can adopt a baby. It'll just generate one for you. Yeah. The game will generate one. I know alcohol is always good, but if it's been mixed up in a drink with ice and like left to sit there for days. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. It's gross. I hope I'm reviving the Sims 2 fandom. I hope I'm helping. <laughs> I hope I'm helping with that. All right. Where are you? You're reading your book. You're doing fine. She does not seem prego to me, y'all. I don't think she is. I don't think she is. But who knows? Sometimes it comes out of nowhere. Well, that's odd. Get your mom out. Get your face out of your mom. <laughs> Let's go try to call Caitlyn again. Uh, call Sim. And thank you so much for the tier one sub, Sly Firefly. Thank you very much. See if she's back from work. Nope. Well, I got nothing for you, Jill. I got nothing for you to do. I don't know what to say. <laughs> it is such a good game. Yeah. She was motorboating her mom. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, jeez. Uh, oh, no. Jill, Jane's grades are slipping, y'all. We've got to get these girls on their homework immediately. That's, like, number one priority is you need to do your homework. I know you want to get a skill point. But you need to do your homework. What are their personalities? Oh, she's an Aquarius, so she'll be a family. And she's a Sagittarius, so that's fortune or knowledge? Fortune or knowledge? Um, knowledge. Jade brought Harper Curious home. Jade brought Harper Curious home. Where'd she go? I didn't see her. Um, all right. It said she brought her home, but I don't see, I didn't see her anywhere. Did you guys see her? Okay, kids. You need to do your homework immediately. I don't care if you're out in the rain and the thunderstorm. You do your homework. Oh no, a tree caught on fire. Nobody cares. The rain's gonna put it out. Stop freaking out, okay? It's raining. Now do your homework. No, that's Jade's homework. You, Jade... Jade, you do your homework out in the dirty, muddy sidewalk. Oh no, she doesn't want to do her homework anymore. Okay, okay. We're going to bring it inside. We're going to bring it inside. <sighs> I feel like I'm never going to get them to do their homework. She still wants to get homework help though. And what the hell is Pascal Curious doing here? How did he get here? I, I don't know. Okay, she needs to have fun. Talk to Harper. Play with Harper. Where the hell is Harper? Did anybody see her? Is she upstairs, perhaps? Um, I don't think she's here. I don't think she's here. I don't think she got off the bus. So, never mind that. We just need to take care of your fun. And do we know what this kid's hobby is? It is sports. Okay, well, you need to find... Or, you know what? Go watch sports on TV. That's what we'll do. I didn't see her get off the bus either. 
And I'm checking to see... Uh, football. Football is actually her hobby. We don't know what Judy's hobby is. Yes, I know Judy's not doing well at school. I'm trying my best here. I'm trying my best. I'm just going to focus on the girls today. Like, we really need to focus on them. That is not giving you enough fun. You need to do something that gives you a lot more fun. Where's somebody you can play red hands with? There's your dad. Let's play red hands. Get your fun up really fast. And then ask him to help you with your homework. Which I think is in here. Uh, I'm going to put it on the floor. Because sometimes if you do ask for homework help, like it won't work if it's on a desk. So I always move it to the floor. No, I'm working on the girls today. Today is their day. We're going to get this homework done. Get the fun up. Perfect. Stop crying. Stop crying. <laughs> ask, ask your dad for homework help. It's okay. We're going to get your homework done. It's all right. I promise. We're going to do it. Good old red hands. Let's check in on Jade. She's doing fine now. She can do her homework now. Uh, but she wants to ask for homework help. Let's ask... Uh, ask Jill for homework help. What is Jill doing to contribute to this household? <laughs> Get out of the bathtub and go help your sister with her homework. Okay, let's try that again. Ask Jill for homework help. Do not play video games, please. Jill, help your sister. Stop cleaning everything. Help your sister. <laughs> Yeah, he didn't wash his hands after the bathroom and start playing red hands. <laughs> yeah, they don't have desk locators right now. Help her! Don't do this! Help her, please! Okay, you're helping her, I think. No. No, you're not. Um. Okay. <laughs> She's taking it upstairs. She's taking it upstairs, putting it on the desk. <sighs> I'm taking it back downstairs. Maybe I won't put it right up against the wall like that. Maybe that was the problem. Oops. Okay, ask for homework help, Jill. Let's do this again. Oh, she slid down that. She slid down the stairs. She does contribute to cleaning. That is true. She cleans all the time. Jenny, what are you doing? Get it. What? Get out. Don't trim the hedges in the rain. Get in here. <laughs> Get in here. Go take a bath. Go take a shower. <laughs> Get out of my hair. Please, will you help her with her homework, Jill? For God's sake, please. No, go. Don't go ask her. This kid's going to pee your pants. Yeah. I have never in my life had so much freaking trouble <laughs> trying to get somebody to help the kid with her homework. Did this kid get help with her homework? No. No, she didn't. Get it. Help her. <sighs> the ask for homework help is just... Oh, who just got struck? What? Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god, did she just get struck by lightning? <laughs> That's what you get for not helping your sister. <laughs> That's what you get. <laughs> oh my god, help this child, please. Help with homework. Whose homework is that? I don't know. G Judy's. Jade's. Stop playing darts. You know what? Go to the bathroom. I, I can't help you anymore, child. I, I don't know what to do. I I'm trying my best. You're outside. Go to the bathroom. And then one we'll try again to ask Jill for homework help. Maybe we just maybe we just don't need to ask Jill. <laughs> Oh, you want a screenshot? Okay. <laughs> we'll get a screenshot of her. Look, she looks so sad. Oh, let's put walls up this time. <laughs> There's a screenshot for you. <laughs> That's
That's a good one. That's a good one. I'm gonna send this kid to the bathroom. And let's see if Paul ever started. Nope. Never helped this other kid either. So, you know what? Why don't we ask Jenny? Because Paul is not helping. Ask Jenny. Stop that. Ask her. Paul's in here just hanging out with Pascal Curious. Bills are due. Please help your children. Please help your children with their homework, okay? Please. Please. Come on. Come on. No. 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 <laughs> Thank God. We finally got somebody helping with homework. Okay. Let's try to let's try to do this again. Ask for homework help. Jill. The kid's gonna starve to death trying to get homework help. It's really sad. <laughs> Yeah, I know. The other sim has to have nothing or it gets dropped. Yep. It's really... This is one of the most annoying uh, interactions in the game, if you ask me. Let's try one more time. Ooh, Smells bad. She stinks. <laughs> help your stinky... Let your stinky sister help you. They're starving for education. <laughs> Oh, where are you going? Okay, you know what? Let's ask Paul. Hold, hold on, hold on. Stay, come here. I can't, I don't know what to do anymore. Let's try again. Come on, come on. You can do this. Help her. Thank God. Finally, finally. Finally. Now you, okay, take your, take your bath. Take your shower. What? You can't believe how late it is. You should... Holy crap, this kid was out here this whole time. <laughs> this kid was out here this whole time. She was out here in the bushes. <laughs> she was out here in the bushes, stuck in the bushes this whole time. We couldn't see you, kid. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> this household is stressing me out. Hide and seek champ 2021. <laughs> it's 9pm. Do you know where your children are? Stuck in a bush at the Smith's house. <laughs> A teen boy died from hunger like that in your game? Oh my god. I have no idea how that happened. I never even see her saw her show up. I have no idea. I didn't even see her get off the bus. Okay, you took your shower. Now go get some food. Since you didn't help anybody today, Jill, but yourself get struck by lightning. <laughs> I don't know how she got there. I don't know. Um, eat some grilled cheese. Finally, the kids got their homework done. Finally. This one is pretty hungry, though. We need to get her some some food before she goes to sleep. So I'm going to feed the kids now. They're not going to fail out of school, at least. Uh, get leftovers. Thank you. Thank you for finally helping your children with their homework. He looks so satisfied with himself. He was like, yep, I did that. Get leftovers! Pascal, get the hell out of here! What are you doing? You're drinking our drinks, swimming in our pool? She's not gonna have failing grades. She did her homework. You had a neighbor sim get stuck in a wall and die? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Can I give him one last chance to try for baby? I can. I can break my own rules if I want to. <laughs> They're gonna have to adopt anyway, so we might as well let them try. They're gonna have to adopt to get to 10 kids anyway, so we might as well let them try a couple more times. He's going to bed, though. And she's already in bed. Jill, go answer the phone. Oh, is Paul available to talk? No, he just went to bed. You missed him. Sorry. Eat your grilled cheese. And you come in, get eat your grilled cheese, and then go to bed. What's up with Pascal's hand? 
Um, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why his hand is like that. I don't know what that was. <laughs> I don't know what he was doing. Hopefully he leaves soon. Eat your grilled cheese and then go to bed, children. <laughs> he was showing off his ring. <laughs> He's relaxing. I'll let them try a couple more times. I, they're a special case, I think. Since they want to have 10 kids and we're going to end up having to adopt anyway to get to that. Um, we can let them try a couple more times, I guess. Uh, Jenny, J you, go, you need to go to sleep. Okay, you know what? Go relax. Just go relax. You kids go to bed. Uh, sleep, sleep, and you can do whatever you want. I don't care. Maybe she can call Caitlin now. Let's see if we can call Caitlin. It's, maybe it's not too late. It's 1041. Maybe she'll be up. Get out of the way. Get out of the way, Pascal. <sighs> Pascal, get out. Get out of here. Thank you. Finally, see you later. <sighs> they need, uh, well, she needs, she has four. So yeah, she needs six more kids and he needs four more. So they're going to have to adopt anyway. So in that, in this special circumstance, I'm going to let them try again. Because we're going to be adopting a bunch of kids anyway. Okay, you do what you want and you go to bed, you go to bed. Okay, perfect. Perfect. Did you, did you ever try to call Caitlin? Hurry, hurry. It's 11 o'clock. She may get mad if you call her now. Twins. Hopefully it's twins. Um, Caitlin. Finally, just talk. Finally, she's going to be able to become friends with her and she'll stop rolling that one. <laughs> this is the first time I've ever tried for 10 children. This is the first time um, I've actually like locked that in and tried for it. We'll see how it goes. She's exhausted. That really wore them out. All that running around helping with homework. Four out of ten. We got six more. Six more. They both have the fertility reward, so it's very possible they will have twins on their own. That's how they had their first set of twins. Did you become friends with her yet? Dang, how long is it going to take? They're almost there. Yes, finally. Finally. Oh, now she wants to get, gain a skill point. All right, hang up. Bye. Thanks for being friends with me. Got to go gain a skill point now. She can stay up a little bit like, longer and get a skill. What does she need a skill point? Nothing. Mechanical, body, creativity. Let's have her do a workout at 1 a.m. Nothing weird about that. Just doing a workout at 1 a.m. Let's get a body skill point. <laughs> No, nobody's on birth control. Your sim had two sets of twins in your game? They aren't even family sims? Wow. They just naturally had two sets of twins? One of the sims might have had the, uh, the twin token. You like the workout music? <laughs> workout in the middle of the night. Okay, come on. We're gonna get that body skill point. We're gonna get that body skill point. I know Judy's not doing well in school. We did her homework, okay? Yes, body skill point achieved. Okay, stop. Time to go to bed. Let's go, sleep in pajamas. And I need to save, I haven't saved in a while. Let's save the game. Okay. I see your save games and I'm saving for you. <laughs> And tomorrow will be our last day with the Smiths. So we'll have to see if uh, Jenny gets prego or not. It'll be our last chance for the predictions. I really hope she did. It'd be nice to have another set of alien twins. <laughs> 
The car. Oh, Jenny, you got to go to work in an hour. Oh, shoot, shoot. Wake up, wake up. Go to the bathroom. You'll have to eat at work. You don't have time for breakfast. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Get up, get up, get to the bathroom. <laughs> she just barely had time to pee. And she's off to work. Um, next are the grunts. Yeah. But before we go to the grunts, I'm probably going to go over to the bar real quick. Yes, I'm sure I turned off birth control. I turned off last, last stream. Yeah. Yep, go work with Cersei. <laughs> Yeah, we're gonna go to the bar, and I want to put the bar in. I want to put the bar into the bar. It's just about finished, except for we just have to put the bar stuff in, and furniture in, and then it's done. Yeah, I thought she'd be pregnant by now, too. But, you gotta remember, ACR takes into account her declining fertility. So it just may not be possible for her. We gotta pay these damn bills. And let's check on the kids. Uh, you need to come down here and watch TV. That'll get your fun up faster. Same for you. Stop playing with toys. That doesn't get you... The f Playing with toys gets their fun up so slowly. <laughs> and, Paul? Uh, you're fine. Cook some, why don't you serve some more breakfast? Blueberry pancakes. No, you come down here and join. I need to replace these stairs with uh, modular stairs. I think that would... That would... Uh, alleviate a lot of the problems. So we're going to do that. I don't know what kind of stairs they have. I'll, I'll give them this one. What do you mean can't intersect wall? Am I going to have to remove this wall? Shoot. Let's see if that does it. Yes. That did the trick. Now let's put the wall back. Are you kidding me? Oh, because it's one that's three. Oh, shoot. That's why I haven't done it. I can't do it. For Somehow, Maxis was able to put stairs in with only three open tiles. And there's no way to recreate that in the game. You have to have four open tiles. And since the door to the ba You know what? I guess we could just get rid of the stupid door to the bathroom. Uh, because we don't need a second door to the bathroom right there. We could just do this. Yeah, let's just do that. I don't care. Yeah, there's no way for us to do that. You have to have four open tiles. So some houses... You can't replace the stairs, really. And you got that problem. Um, but we'll go ahead and do do it like this. Like so. It looks pretty stupid, but who cares? <laughs> who cares? It's functional. And we'll repaint this wall. There. There we are. That is a funky bathroom. Look at the shape of that thing. Oh boy. All right. But hey, now we have modular stairs, so more than one sim can walk up that at a time or down it at a time, and there won't be so many routing issues. Yeah. Yeah, you can't do it now. Sucks. Funky bathroom for the half alien family. And they got their fun up pretty pretty well. Now they're going to go to school and their grades are going to go up because they did their homework. She had a C, O, a D. Ooh, that's rough. But their grade will go up today. And Paul, you're cooking breakfast. Jenny's at work. Jill, what are you up to? And she's taking a bath. I didn't even see her in there. Um, I don't need to fix the paint in there. Oh, I can fix the paint right here. I think it's still blue. Yeah, there we go. I don't need to fix the paint in here. I didn't take, I didn't move any of the walls in that room. 
This looks so weird. <laughs> makes no This makes no sense. <laughs> yeah, I'm playing Pleasant View on YouTube. Not on here, though. It's too confusing to play two different Pleasant Views at the same time. People get confused and it's annoying to me. <laughs> so I'm, go I'm not going to play it on here. All right, let's see. Yeah, clean that. I guess clean that. It's fine. Then use the bathroom. It got dirty so fast. You think seasons change being able to do three? I wish you still could because this really sucks. You're not able. I'm not able to replace the stairs in a lot of houses. Um. Okay. Come down here and eat some cereal. Even though your dad made pancakes, you want cereal. Fine, fine, fine. Put away leftovers. We're just gonna put all these away and have plenty of pancakes for later. <laughs> my foot itch, I'm scratching my foot with my other foot. <laughs> Yeah, being struck by lightning. There was a lot of dirt to get off. Yeah, I thought about doing a two-tile hallway. Yeah, that would be better, actually. And that would fill that gap. That's a good point. That is a good point. I like that better. Let's do that. Because it looks really bizarre like this. And two-tile hallways are always better because your sims don't get stuck. Yeah, that looks much better. Good idea. Okay, let's put... Does that one match? No. <laughs> no, it does not. That's not the right one. Where's the right railing for this? This one. No. No. <laughs> this one? No. Where is it? Is it this one? No? <laughs> Damn it, I don't know. I'm just gonna use something that doesn't match. Oh, there it is. Oh, that's close enough anyway. That's close enough. We'll use that. I know they had a white one, but that that sucked. That was stupid. Um, you know what else I want to do? I really want to fix this bathroom. Um, I'm going to put this here. I'm going to delete that, and I'm going to put a two-tile door here. Is this a two-tile? No. There. See, that's better. That's nicer. That's a lot better, in my opinion. Okay. Much better, much better. It was really stupid before. I hate that bathroom, too. Yeah. Yeah, I hate that bathroom. Okay, perfect. Perfect! Now you have even more room to go. He doesn't like it. You don't like the door? Oh, crap. Go pay your bills. Go pay your bills. What's wrong with you? Uh, get, or actually, let's pay them online. That'll be easier. That'll be easier. Do we not have a computer in this house? What the hell? We need a computer. I'm going to buy them a... A laptop. Yeah, we'll buy them a little laptop. And you can go pay your bills in here. Do, 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 do. Bank online. Pay bills. You're lagging. You're lagging behind. Oh, yeah. Shoot. Do, do, do. There we go. <laughs> now nobody will fall over the edge, right? Now nobody will fall over the edge. 
This is like so, so small. I don't like having a one tile hallway, but I guess that's what we're stuck with. This whole upstairs just is weird. The weeds in the yard. Oh, we probably, do we have a gardener? Yeah, we have a gardener. He's here. Darren Wood. He's working it. <laughs> He's working it. Um, let's check on everybody. Paul's good. Jill, what do you want to do now? I thought you already ate cereal. You want to eat cereal again? Okay. I guess. <laughs> Uh, make single plate of cereal. She wants cereal for breakfast and lunch. She didn't eat it. She ate the pancakes? <sighs> Jill, you were supposed to eat cereal. Now you're going to have a carb overload. <laughs> she Well, she's a popularity sim, which is pretty close to a pleasure sim. <laughs> in my opinion. Ugh. Well, this is our last day. We'll find out if Jenny's pregnant today. Eat it! Eat it! <laughs> you wanted to eat it, damn it, you eat it. Cereal's good. Yeah, I like cereal too. Some kinds of cereal, other kinds, not so much. I like granola the most. Okay, now she wants to learn couples counseling and meet someone new. <sighs> Jill. You know, I think popularity sims are probably my least favorite sims to play out of all of them. Well, I don't count pleasure, but I think popularity sims are probably my least favorite. She didn't she become friends with what's her name too? She's got two bolts with tank. Uh, I don't count grilled cheese either. I don't count grilled cheese. Meatloaf crunch. Ooh. Well, she needs to have fun and her hobby is watching movies. So she's going to go watch an action movie today. She didn't get prego from her casual woohoo. Thank goodness. Although I wouldn't have minded. I wouldn't have minded if she had a baby. Then we could have used that as an excuse to move her out. Paul's just going to go clean the house. He doesn't. He just wants the same old thing he always wants. Ten children, a grandchild. He wants Jill to get married. And he wants to have a good reputation and have a party. That's all he cares about. He and Jill are very alike. What are you doing, Jill? Do, 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 do. I like knowledge. I like knowledge. Because I like working on skills. I love family the most. Family sims are my most favorite. And romance are my second favorite. I love family and I love romance, but I don't like when the two meet. I don't like a family slash romance. I like you either to be family or your romance. I don't want you to be a combination of the two. I don't like it. <laughs> All right, Jill, I don't know what to tell you anymore. You want to meet someone new? Let's go stand on the street and wait for someone to walk by. There's Kendall and Johnny. You already know them. Come out here. Just stand on the sidewalk. Hello, Kendall. I love your I love your gown. Your beautiful gown. <laughs> I like knowledge. I like playing knowledge. I like playing uh, fortune too, because I like to buy all the stuff they want to buy. <laughs> yeah, I like to buy it all. And I like to furnish their house with the things they want. I know, I feel like I always get secondary romance sims too. She's pulling weeds. Okay, great. Great, make yourself useful then. She's gonna pull the weeds while we wait on somebody to walk by that she can meet. I'm not crazy about pleasure sims, to be honest. Okay, Jenny's home. Let's check in on her. I don't think she got prego. Uh, let's go relax. She wants to woohoo, so... Let's do it. Go relax. No, no, what, what? Go relax. Everybody go relax. In bed, please. 
Uh, Jill's just gonna do some yard work. She really does pull her weight around here. She's always cleaning and doing yard work. Oh, Jade just got 200 simoleons. Okay, hold on. I gotta put that in my spreadsheet because we have to start a, a bank account for her. That was Jade 200. Oh, and uh, Jill is supposed to have 100 as well. I need to start a bank account for her. Next are the grunts. And we're gonna try again here. Try for baby. This will probably be the last time. The last chance they get. <laughs> And once she finishes, I'm gonna send her in. I'm gonna let her. I'm gonna let her work on the yard for as long as she wants, and then I'm gonna have to start a bank account for her. She's got to keep her 100 simoleons. It's all she has, and Jade too, because I don't want to forget. Uh, where's the computer upstairs? Uh, thank you so much for the tier one sub, BB Goth. Okay, uh, Judy had a great week. That's nice. Bank online. Check, check money. Okay, she doesn't have any. Deposit 200. Wait, is it Jade? Was it Jade? Yeah, it was Jade. Yes, I know, child. Whatever, you need to have fun. What is your hobby? What is your hobby? She also wants to do homework. We don't know what her hobby is yet. We need to work on that. Let's see if it's games. I would love to, I feel like I never get anybody with the games hobby. Go play games, let's see if that's your hobby. Yeah, I do have a replacement for the street, but it's just the Maxis street that goes with the terrain I use. So it's, it's a replacement, but not really. I know, I feel like I always get music and dance. I have so many music and dance. I swear. Sandy Broody's games, is she? That's cool. I feel like I have a lot of film and literature. All right, let's get you in here to do your bank account. That's enough yard work for you. I appreciate the yard work. She's really trying to like do her do her uh do her duty. <laughs> She's trying to do her duty around here. Bank online deposit 100 simoleons. Wait, let me make sure I didn't already do that. No. And you you also want to do your homework, but you need to have fun and you need to go to the bathroom. You have so many needs. You you need so many things. Go do that. Go take a bath. Then we'll check back on you in a second. You're having fun. Your hobby is obviously not games. It's not films and literature. Um, it's probably freaking tinkering. Let's see if it's arts and crafts. I swear if I can't find somebody's hobby, it's always tinkering. Is there any art in here? Is there any art in this house? What do you guys have no art? Uh, go up here and admire this art. Let's see if it's arts and crafts. And your sports, your football, we already know that. After you get out, maybe we'll have you and Jill go play football. Where's Jill? What? Who's that kid? Oh, Sari's Beaker? Why are you... Why are you pushing Sari's in a swing outside? Where did she come from? Oh, I don't know what just happened there. She wants to dance with Buck. I'm locking that in so that we can get Buck back over here. I want you to go. No, we still don't know what your hobby is. Okay, I guess it wasn't arts and crafts. So what else do we have? Music, maybe fitness or music and dance. Come over here and dance. Go dance. Aw, thank you so much for the five month Prime sub, uh, Light and Frost. Thank you so much. 
I got a shout out from Bushlord to Cindy for being the reason I downloaded Sims 2 last night and have spent five hours downloading default replacements before I play. Yay! <laughs> have fun, have fun. Did she bring, oh, she must have brought series home from school. Okay, it's not music and dance, damn it. It better not be tinkering. Nature or sports, we could try. Uh, go watch sports on TV. Let's see if it's, see if it's sports. See if it's sports. Okay, 6 p.m. has come. Nobody's answering the phone here. Oh, Jill's gonna answer it. It's Harper Curious. Change to... Uh, not dance, damn it. Sports. Change to sports. Okay, it's not sports. Nature. Could it be nature? Oh, she's got to go to the bathroom. It's tinkering. Don't say that, Kira. It's not tinkering. <laughs> I, I want to do a medieval hood sometime, but I just haven't been able to muster up the motivation to download all the defaults that you would need. Okay, go out here and hunt bugs. Let's see if you're nature. Okay, not nature. Um, it's gonna be freaking tinkering. I know it. So now we've got fitness, sports, tinkering, or science. Um, let's go watch the weather channel. I should have had her do that before. She needs to do her homework too. Oops. Watch the weather channel and then you're gonna do your homework. Okay, I said watch. I said watch. Okay, her her fun's up too much. All right, let's drain your fun a little bit then. Where's your homework? Ah, oh, I'm trying to click it. Go do your homework. We'll check in on your sister. She's okay with fun. She's hungry, but I'm gonna have her do her homework too. Everybody do your homework. And let's check on Jenny. I don't know if she got prego this time. Oh, she's gonna serenade Paul in the bathroom. Great. Let's make sure they're doing their homework. Okay, they're both doing it. And you. Oh, I heard somebody yelling up here. Who's yelling up here? Oh, no, that's that kid down there. That's that kid down there. Go home, child. You're really annoying. Jill's got her bathing suit on. She's talking on the phone to Harper. And I want to check in on Jenny. Oh, no. Look at her needs, y'all. I don't think she got prego. I don't. I don't. Look at her needs are all, like, perfect. Hey, kid. Get out of here. <laughs> Paul did not like her. Yes, that's nice. Go home now, child. Nobody likes you here. Get out. She just wants to be loved, I know. Look, she's going into aspiration failure. She's an aspiration failure. Okay, you know what? You need to go home. You're being a real jerk, and we don't want that in our house. Get out of here. <laughs> yeah, poor thing. Nope, I don't think we had any babbies formed today. What do you want to do? Talk to a relative? All right. Go chat. Go chat. <laughs> Acting like her mom. She wants to public woo. Oh. I don't know about that. Play catch? You're gonna go play catch? Okay, I'm not gonna stop you, whatever. <laughs> well, I don't know. I'm really surprised. They tried for baby, what, four times? And still nothing. Still nothing. I, I will double check just to make sure before if we don't know by the end. Um, I'll double check with Simblender just to make sure. Because who knows? Oops, I wasn't telling you to go eat. I wasn't telling you to go eat. I was telling you to go eat. I don't know. Her hunger was going down pretty fast. Let's see. 
Let's see. Uh, I don't think it's going down fast enough, though. I really don't. I don't think it's going down fast enough. Darn it. His nuts have been abducted. <laughs> Summon, baby. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is the end of the round. Let's double check. Nope. Nope, she didn't get Prego. Oh, that's too bad. I guess they could try one more time. They could try one more time. Look, he's already waiting over here. He's like, hey, come on. Let's try one more time. We're gonna try one more time. Hydrate before you dehydrate. <laughs> this is your last chance. This is literally your last chance. Come on, I'm not even paying attention to the children. I don't care. They'll take care of themselves. Okay, they're done. Let's see. Let's find out. Nope. Nope. She didn't. Oh, man. Nope. She did not. <laughs> that sucks. And what? Who's starving? These dumb kids don't know how to eat and take care of themselves. Get out of bed. <sighs> Get leftovers. Get up in the middle of the night and eat before the social worker takes you away, and then we we have to end this round. Eat some pancakes in the middle of the night. Let's see about this one. She's she's doing a little bit better. I leave you to fend for yourself, and you can't even eat, child. <sighs> and then she, she's gonna go back to sleep. Come on, that's enough. That'll get you through the night. And then let's save and we, it's spring now, so it's time to move on. I'm really disappointed Jenny didn't get Prego, but you know, maybe we could try again next round. <laughs> a midnight stack. Yeah, a midnight stack. Stack? Did I say stack? A midnight snack. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do now is I'm gonna go to the neighborhood and we're gonna go to the bar real quick and put the bar in. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. Oh, yeah, let me do the points. Let me do your points. Prediction. Um, choose outcome. So 44% said no. All right, so you guys should get some nice points. Will Jenny get pregnant? No, she did not. Complete prediction. There you go. <laughs> Rest in peace. Rest in peace. Oh, and I also didn't finish the parking lot either. Do, 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 2,551 points. All right. 22K. Whoa. Do, do, do. So here's our bar that we built in the last stream. I love the outside of it. I love the back side of it. Look how cute this is. So this is like the outside woohoo area with the hot tubs. There's a couple of tables here. It looks really cute at night too. At night, it looks really neat. Um, and then upstairs, this is where the restaurant's gonna be. So this is the restaurant seating. And we're going to put the, all the restaurant stuff in here. And then down here, we're gonna put the bar stuff. We've got two bathrooms. We've got a stair going down and downstairs. This is the, this is the party room. <laughs> this is the uh, pool table room and everything downstairs. Yeah. And the woohoo couch. <laughs> That's in the basement. So I, what I want to do is put the bar in here. The so one second, I'm going to go to the nightlife collection. We're going to use the nightlife collection for this. Cause it has all the good stuff in it. Where where are you nightlife collection? There it is, nightlife community lot collection. And we're gonna put, and I'm probably gonna change the walls in here too, but right now I just wanna get the bar in here. So this is functional. Where's the bar? Oh, there it is. There it is. 
What color shall we use? What color shall we use? We we'll use like, I think we'll use this color. I don't know if I want to do that for the top though. I want to look at all the tops. I think we we'll use the black. We we'll use the black top. So this is going to be the bar where I'm actually going to put it up against the wall. Um, and we'll put a couple of stools. These are our stool choices. Oh, this one. This one will work. There's the bar, and then we'll put some tables over here. So what tables am I using? I'm gonna keep using, I'm gonna use the same ones. Put a little table and chairs over here. We'll put a candle on that. All right, and then I wanna put some lights. What do we have here? Let's put some of these lights, some of these crazy lights. Oh, those are just floating in the air. <laughs> those are floating in the air. We need a photo booth. Okay, we'll get a photo booth. That's a good idea. We'll put a photo, I'm gonna turn quarter time placement on. And I'm gonna put these on each side like so. And I don't know, I feel like we need something there. We need something there. I don't know, plant. One of these. Mm, that doesn't really go. <laughs> Maybe a painting. Maybe we need a painting there. Oh, we should have used this bar. We should use that bar. Hold up. And I wonder if I can make these. Yeah, we'll just keep those the same. And maybe put a painting or something there. That's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. I like that. So there's a little bar area and I want to change the walls and I want to look at what came with nightlife. Nightlife, where are you? That's it? We didn't get any walls with that? Here's the photo booth. Let's put the photo booth in. Yeah, we need music for sure. I want to put the photo booth over here in the corner. Right here. Like so. And is that the only color it comes in? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, we definitely need music in here. Classical wall? No, not classical. Or how about a jukebox? How about we have a jukebox in here? I like that idea. We'll have a jukebox right by the door there. And I'll put another table. I'll put another, maybe I'll put another table or no, we'll just leave that open. We'll put some tables in the hall here. Put a couple tables, or we'll put one table right here. I don't want to put too many tables because I want to have room for our sims to dance. They're going to dance. Nope. I hope that's right. I did quarter tile placement on, so I hope that's right. Put another candle over here. I will put some kind of light over here as well. Oh yeah, I could add more island counters. That's a good point. We could do that. That's a good idea. Yeah, we can put uh, counters all around it. That's a good idea. Let's see. I like that. I like that. Let's change the color, though. 
Yeah. So now it like wraps around. And maybe we could put... Nah, I'm not gonna put stool. I'm not gonna put those there, but there's more bar space. We can put one more here. Perfect. So that's cool. And then we can put something back here on this wall. I want to change the wall color too. I think we have some neon light, some more ne of these neon lights. That might be too much on the neon. Or you know what? I think I like, I think I want to put these around. Like this. I'm going to put these all around. All around this bar area. Maybe I won't put them there. Yeah. There we are. And then I'm going to put like a different floor on that. I don't know what kind of floor. Did anything come with nightlife? No. <laughs> I like the neon lights too. So let's go look at the floor options. I want to make this a different floor, like it's a different area or something. I mean, that's... That's something. <laughs> that's really something. It's really green. That might be too much green. I think that's too much green. <laughs> no, I don't like the green. Let's do a yellow or something. No, I hate that tile. Let's not look at tile. Nope. Nope. <laughs> Maybe I'll just leave it. Maybe I'll just leave it how it is. Because I'm not seeing anything that I like. So we might just leave it. Yeah, those blocks. I was looking for those. Did I miss those? We gotta put some, oh, we put a jukebox in here. That's right. Um, I don't see those blocks. I know what you're talking, oh, here they are. These, these hideous things. We gotta put these around. Are these. Incandescent floor tile. That's what we need. We're going to put this. Like that. No, I don't like that. It's too, it just doesn't look right. No, that comes right off the stairs. There's like no good place to put it. Yeah, I know, there'll be a bunch of flashing colors. Maybe we'll just make a little small one like that. <laughs> we'll have to see what it looks like. I don't know. We'll just make it a little small one like that. <laughs> now I want to change the wall color too. Let's see. We need something. Ooh, we need something like that. We could do the blue or we could do paint. Oh, let's do the purple. Purple and green. That's a color combo. It's supposed to be tacky, okay? It's supposed to be tacky. I like the purple in here. Um, I am kind of rethinking the, putting the photo booth. I think I might put the photo booth in the hall and put some more tables over here. I put the photo booth right here in the hallway. And then we can put tables. More tables over here. 
Or another table over here, at least. Yeah. <laughs> Purple and green. It fits. It fits. It works somehow. And I kind of want to put a, like, some kind of covering over these windows. Because I don't feel like you want the bright sunlight inside the bar. So we'll put... I'm not sure I like these tables for the bar either. I think I think these tables are too nice for the bar. I want to put something to cover these. I don't know if any of these will work on this window. Well, that kind of works. No, that definitely doesn't. Nope. There's really no way to cover these. We might just have to leave them open. Might just have to leave them open after all. We could put these ones that close at night. I'm gonna let you guys vote on the name too. I, I wrote down the names that I liked best. I don't know, that's not gonna look good in a bar. I think we're just gonna have to leave it open. Oh well, it'll be dark. It'll be dark, nobody will care that much. So I think, I don't know. What do you guys think about the tables? Should we change the tables? Let's see. The probe in. I think these just look, don't look really like bar tables. I think I'd rather have something like this. Uh, what else do we have? What do we have? What do we have? I kind of like these. That's the only color that would really work. No, that is hideous. I don't want to do glass, you know? You don't want to do glass in a in a bar. Yeah, we can change the color. I just wanted something that was... Let me look in the nightlife. What kind of tables are in here? These. They, we could use these. These look, a, I think these look a little bit more like they'd be in a bar. Probably don't want to use put a candle there either. And then we can put these chairs. Maybe, or these chairs. Purple, green. Let me see what colors I have. Nah, I like these better. It's going to be kind of nice. It'll be nice. Because that doesn't go with that table at all. Uh, we'll do these. That looks pretty nice, I think. And we could change the color of these bar stools to kind of match that a little bit better. Yeah, I think a darker wood definitely looks better, too. <laughs> I, th I hope I did that right. No, no, I did not. Perfect. And now I'm gonna change the this table for the same one. We're getting there. <laughs> We're getting there slowly but surely. I think these look more like bar tables, personally. Personally. And maybe I'll just put this light all around. And then I don't have to put any more lights in here. No, come back. Go against the wall where I want you to go. I'm just going to put these all around this, this front room here. And behind, it's even going behind the stairs. What have I done? Perfect. I will put some lights in the hallway, I guess. So yeah, there's going to be the little bar area. I think the darker colors look better. Now I, but now I feel like they don't match the rest. <laughs> so that bothers me. Uh, I don't know if I like, now I don't know if I like the table. Can we make it lighter in color? I think I want to make it lighter again. Do, 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 do. 
I think I like the lighter because I we're doing lighter wood everywhere else. Ah, wrong one. Wrong one. So I'm going to make it lighter in color, but everything else I'm going to keep the same. And I may change the upstairs tables for these same tables too. So far, so good. And then I'll put some lights, some kind of lights here. What do we have? What do we have? Where's some lights? No lights came with nightlife? Dang. These? <laughs> these did. We could put these right here. <laughs> Our little tiny dance floor. There's a little tiny dance floor. We can do this one. Let's do this one smaller. Let's do this one. Perfect. <laughs> There's our little tiny dance floor. <laughs> That's our little tiny dance floor. And okay, I have a juke. Maybe we shouldn't do a jukebox. Maybe we should just do music playing. I don't know. I can't decide. I can't decide on that. Oh, I didn't see these tables. Oh, I didn't see these tables. Ooh, now I think I want to use these tables. I think these actually look better. I think those actually look better. Hold up, hold up. And then we can use these. And so, I'm sorry, I changed my mind a lot. <laughs> I just have to see what I like best. Let's see how these metal chairs look. Those just look more like bar chairs to me. Black looks good. Black looks good, I think. It looks dark. Like you want the club to be. I think this will work. What do you guys think about the black chairs? I think that's kind of nicer. And we can have the nicer chair. We can have the nicer tables upstairs for the restaurant. Or for the bar, you get the, for the bar, you get the crappy, you get the crappier tables. <laughs> I like that. Um, I wonder if, we, I don't think there's black of these. <clears throat> I think I have to leave these the same because I don't think there is black. There's dark wood, but there's no black. I need a black recolor of those. Um, but that's okay. I'll just leave them like that. I guess we could do darker wood. I don't know, y'all. I'm trying my best. We could do dark wood. That looks a little bit more... Hydrate before I dehydrate. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm I'm testing out colors. It's fine. It's good enough. It's good enough at this point. Then we can change that to a darker color, so that kind of looks darker and nicer. Is there a black? No. Uh, thank you so much for the 100 bits base bun, and let me. Let me hydrate before I dehydrate. <laughs> uh, okay, I like that. I mean, that's not terrible. It's not terrible, but I do need some kind of light here. Now, I'm so happy that our Sims are gonna have somewhere to go. Oh, maybe we can do one of these light. No, those are kind of large. Those are large and in charge. What is this? Oh, that's the thing that sends up fire. We also don't have room for a dance sphere, unfortunately. We'll put these. Put some of these out here. There we are. Perfect. That's a perfect light for the hallway. I don't like two of them. We'll just do one. And then in here, uh, I want to change the walls in here too. And 
And maybe we'll change the color of the flowers. <laughs> we'll change them to red. I don't know if that looks better or worse. But that's what I'm doing. I want it to be kind of tacky. It's supposed to be tacky. It's a, it's a strange town nightclub. <laughs> so that's how it's supposed to look. We have a, I love our little tiny, teeny tiny dance floor. Mirrors, you think? We could put a big mirror right there. Let's see. Let's see, what else do we have? What else is, comes in the nightlife collection that we could use? That's nice. But that's more for outside. Really not that much that I'm crazy about using here. What is that? Hepcat, 50s wall speaker. Karaoke would be fun. Karao but it's so big is the thing. Like, I think I'll just build another karaoke bar eventually. This is just gonna be a generic bar. We may have to make the, the dance floor a little bit bigger. I don't know, we'll see how that goes. <laughs> is this a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles bar? No. I think this is good enough for the bar area. You can drink, listen to music, dance on the teeny tiny dance floor. And then for the bathrooms, I think I'm gonna make them brick. Uh, let me grab this brick. I'm gonna make them brick, I like that. There is a plant coming into the bathroom wall. We gotta fix that. That's good. Now that's going through the... Let's see. That's, that's fine. <laughs> it's fine. Well, I've already got green as like an accent color in here, so I think it's I think it's fine. I, is there we had and downstairs we have green. See, we have a lot of green downstairs. And oh, also I want to I want to change these tables out for those black tables. We're gonna change these out, and then we'll be done with the bar. I think for now it's fine. I might go in and, and mess around with it and touch it up. I hope those are where they're supposed to be. And I think I'll just leave those, those chairs there. I think that's fine. So there's the pool area, the woohoo couch. And also, no, I'm not recoloring those. That stays light wood. I'm not recoloring those. I kind of want to put that back to light wood too. I just, I have to change my mind so many times and like try out so many different things. I think that's good enough. Let me see what other uh, bar stools we have before I completely decide. What do these look like? Oh, maybe we should use these bar stools. They look kind of alien-like, don't they? Oh yeah, I like these better. Let's use these. Two, three. They look more spacey than these do. I don't think I've ever used these bar stools before. Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> I love it. And then one minute, la one minute later, bulldoze this entire lot. I think that's good enough to get us started with the bar. And I don't think I like this picture after all. I think I like that after all. I think I'll put these. I think I'll put these across. Damn it. It's dark. It's really dark in here. I might have to put actually put some more lights. I'm just trying to get these situated. Okay, I'm gonna put those across like that, but it is really dark. I mean, it should be dark, right? I'm 
These are chairs, they're not bar stools. Oops. Oh crap, they're not bar stools. Aw, oh, dang it. Well, you know what? We'll use those for chairs. <laughs> we'll use them for chairs. I really wish they were bar stools. What are we gonna do for bar stools now? They look really uncomfortable, I'll tell you that. I'll tell you that much. They look terribly uncomfortable. But they do make nice chairs. There's a bar, bar stool version? Oh, okay. Let's go find it. Uh, is this it? No. Is this it? Oh, they're these kind of bar stools. All right. All right, that'll work. Perfect. Perfection. This is our weird ass strange town bar. It's very strange. I want to I want to put a light on the table. Maybe we could put That's too big. We need something small. I don't want to put candles, but I guess I'll put candles. Just to give it a little bit more light around the table so you can see what you're doing. Hopefully nobody gets drunk and knocks those over. That's just a chance we'll have to take. Okay, perfect. It's perfect in every way. It's, it's actually awful. But that's how we want it to look. That's how we want it to look. It's supposed to be funky. It's supposed to be funky. Uh, thank you so much for the three months at tier one, Raquel. Thank you. Oh, and we got a beg for gifts up from Frederica. Uh, Frederica RI, if anybody feels generous in the chat. And this is not going to be red, so don't worry about that. It's going to be like all different colors flashing. Well, I don't know what else to do. It's tacky and awful, and I guess that's what we want. <laughs> I guess that's what we want. I do want to put a picture here. And let me turn it back to daytime. It's going to be, I can't wait to take one of our Sims here. We're going to have to take somebody here right away. No. Where's the picture I'm looking for? I want the nighttime city picture. No, not that. <laughs> I don't know where it is. We can use one of these. There, that's nice. That's nice. Won't you take me to Funky Strange Town Bar? <laughs> it's the perfect place for aliens to get sloshed. All right, so that's, I think that's good enough for now. I may come back and do something else to it. But I'm gonna leave it like that for now. And then upstairs, all we have to do, see now it's really nice upstairs. It's really nice and calm. To go downstairs, you got a party on your hands. And you have to go through here to get to the restaurant. And then you also got a party downstairs. <laughs> and for the restaurant, I want to put... Did I save? I'm going to save again. Let's go. I want to put... We need a station... One of these... One of these, so when you first come in, um, you'll be greeted. You'll be greeted at, by the server here. And then back here, I think I want to make a separate room for like the kitchens and stuff. So we'll do that. This is this is a multi-purpose. This is a multi-purpose. Um. What am I trying to say? A multi-purpose venue. What color is that? Oh, that's not the right color. Is it? Oh, I guess it is. It looks weird. All right, let's put a door. I think I'll put this kind of door. Drinks really get you going. Warms you up when you feel you're slowing. 
We always serve it right away. Add a smile and have a nice day. Okay, and then I'm gonna put the counters and stuff. We need a we need a cooking station for the cook here. Um, we need I'm gonna put some counters and stuff so it looks like an actual kitchen. Is that a oh that's a counter that's an island. We'll put a fridge down here. Where's the refrigerator? I think there's another collection that's restaurants. I'm pretty sure there is. Not open for business. Is it? No. I swear there's a collection for restaurants, but maybe not. The hot drinks was too much. Maybe this is it. Maybe this is what I'm thinking of. Okay, that's fine. Let's get a refrigerator in here. We're almost done. This is the last part. This is the last thing and then we're going to be able to use this lot. And like sometimes I'm thinking, man, did I go, did I make this lot too big? Did I make, did I go overboard with this lot? But you know what? No. <laughs> the answer is no. No, I have not. Damn it. It's, it's going to be an all in one lot. I swear all of my strange town lots are like so huge. I have to pack as much into them as I possibly can. So this is going to be the kitchen area. I don't know what else we could put in here. We could put some more counters. Never have too many counters. And I want to put a trash can. Oh, maybe we can put some small appliances too. We could put some small appliances. Like, like a food processor. Put a food processor over somewhere over here. We could put a microwave. Most kitchens have like a microwave. Even though our Sims aren't really going to use this, we can pretend. We can pretend that they do. We can put a wine. We can put a wine thing. Perfect. Perfect. We can put a picture or something. I don't know. I think that's good. That's good enough. I'll move this over here. That's good enough for a kitchen, isn't it? I think so. <laughs> Lots of sinks. We can put another sink. Yeah, that's a good idea. Put another sink over here. And maybe I'll just go ahead and put one more counter. One more counter here. The trash can there. And above it, I'll put an all employees must wash hands sign. And we'll put, I was gonna put one of those where is it? Thank you so much for the three month prime sub, Mary Jeannie. Thank you very much. <laughs> Aw, thank you. That's very nice of you. Uh, I wanted to put that, the like oil and vinegar thing. You know what I'm talking about? Maybe it's under miscellaneous. Uh, thank you so much for the 100 bits, Derby. We could put a bowl of lemons. A bowl of fruits. I want to put the oil and vinegar thing. I know you're in here. Or not, it's not oil and vinegar, is it? Yeah. Salt and pepper and oil and vinegar. Perfect. And maybe we'll just put two wine things. And we'll get rid of that. Okay. That looks like a nice kitchen to me. That looks like it's it's ready. It's ready to go. Thank you so much for the 100 bits, uh, Sly Firefly. I also got a bag for gift sub from Doomy. D-O-O-M-I-I-I-E. <laughs> and uh, I had another one earlier. Oh, Frederica. 
full, a bowl of lemons for the juicy slice, yes. So here's the inside, and I think I might put uh, a couple tables inside. So if people really don't want to eat outside, I personally really don't like to eat outside. Especially if it's not covered. I'm like, please, no, I want to eat. I want to eat inside, indoors, where there's no insects and wind. That's where I would like to eat, please. Put this all the way against. And then we'll put a plant in between it. Oh, excuse me. So this is going to be the restaurant part. You can sit in here or you can sit outside on the deck. And I think that's all we need to do for that. I think that's ready to go. I think that's pretty much ready to go. Oh, thank you so much for the 300 bits, Allie Alien. And I got a Ask Me Anything from Sammy. How do I make the oldies interesting? I don't know. You tell me. <laughs> I killed them. I killed them off. Oh, yeah, we need a fire alarm. That's true. Let's put a fire alarm. Or we'll put those... Should we put those sprinkler things? Oh, and I might put some music up here too. I might put some music up here. Let's put some speakers. What's What would be nice music for up here? Not country, world, surf, techno, pop, heavy metal. How about that? Salsa, happy shopping, how about classical? Classical. Put some classical music playing up here. Nice. And then maybe we could put some pic maybe we could put something on the wall, like a picture on the wall. Um this one's so big. I like this one, but it's so freaking big. We put it on against the back wall. No, it still looks stupid. Uh, thank you so much for the 30 bits she weigh it. Oh, I gotta hydrate too. Let me hydrate. Um, what kind of picture are we gonna put here? Grilled cheese, some grapes. None of these really like fit here. This thing. Do I have some recolors of this? Yeah. I don't think any of these. Oh, look, how about some cacti? Are those cacti? Yeah. Oh, does this have lights? Do we need lights? <laughs> we need lights in here. I'm gonna use these. Just so it's, you know, not too dark. Not too dark when you're trying to eat. Those should be good. Let me turn it to night and just see. Yeah, I like it. I want it to be softly lit because I don't like to eat in a place where the lights are like super bright, you know? Although I will put a few more in the kitchen because so, they need to see. Okay, perfect. Um, I still feel like the walls are a little bit bare. I don't really like that there, to be honest. Maybe I'll put those over here. I'll put one on each side. Um, but I'll have to like put them the same. <laughs> oh, never mind. Let me try it again. Let me try it again. Where are my cacti? Doo -doo. Put one there and one there. And then I still need something for this back wall too. This will be, I think this will be a nice place for our Sims to go. I have one of these long boys over here. I don't really like any of those for the restaurant though. That's tiny, that's teeny tiny. I like these pictures, I use these a lot, but I don't think any of these match. Ugh, I don't know. Oh, you know what, we'll just do an accent wall. That'll take care of it. <laughs> Let's do a brick. Let's do a brick wall. 
Let's do a brick wall over here. Perfect. <laughs> it's perfect. That fixes everything. Or maybe I'll make this all brick. I think that looks kind of nice as brick. I like that. I, I'm actually going to make this all brick. I like it. That looks better. And it looks like it doesn't really need anything. Okay. <laughs> yeah, downstairs, you can see the party downstairs. Nice restaurant upstairs. Downstairs, it's a crazy bar. <laughs> and let me save. I think this is gonna be okay. Now I don't like the brick in the bathroom though. We could just make the bathrooms. We'll make the bathroom green wall. <laughs> How about that? It's lovely. It's lovely. The brick will stick. Um, I think we're just about done. I think we're about done with this. <laughs> I can't think of anything else. I, I really like the restaurant. The restaurant looks really nice. But downstairs, downstairs things start get to get start to get crazy. I, what did I say? What just came out of my mouth? Downstairs things start to get crazy. <laughs> Sounds like somewhere you went to a Christmas party. This would be a great place to have a Christmas, like a work Christmas party, wouldn't it? I do not like those flowers though. I I'm sorry, I don't like those flowers. We're gonna have to. I mean, I like the flowers. I just don't like them in this application. We're gonna we're gonna do some different flowers. Do I have anything purple? No, not those. Not those. That's too that's too blue. That's too much blue. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, we could oh these are perfect. Okay, let's get rid of these. We're gonna put these on. Pretend that you don't see any wood underneath that. That is dirt. That is dirt. That is not wood. As far as as far as the Sims are concerned, that is dirt under there. Are there fake flowers either way? Either one. Either one can work. Yeah, down in the basement it's woohoo. You can also woohoo out here. And there's tables here. I wonder if they will try to seat people in these tables for the restaurant. Hopefully not. I don't know, though. Okay, I like it. I like it. <laughs> yeah, I like how you can see that wall down there. <laughs> I like it. It's definitely a place for our Sims to go. Now all I have to do is the, uh, is this, the parking lot real quick. So I'll put the parking blocks. And then the next time we play Strange Town, y'all, we are going to go to the bar. Somebody's going to the bar. I guess Tank or uh, but I keep saying Tank. Buzz will be the first one to go. He'll be the first one to go to the bar and test it out. He's got to get away from his new child. Uh, and then I want to put the dividers. Three, four, five, six. Two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. Oops. Four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then we will surround this with these. Like so. And I'll put this here. This here, I was gonna make the sidewalk go all the way across. Oh, and we also need a different phone booth. No thank you on that hideous monstrosity. I'll put the trash can right there. Even though they can't use it, it doesn't matter. They're not gonna use it. It looks nicer like that. I'll put one on each side. And uh, what did I say? Oh yeah, phone booth. So we need a phone booth. So we'll just put this, we'll put it on the side. We'll put it on the side over here. 
I'll put a bench next to it. I, I don't know why I always put a bench next to it. I think it looks nice. Like maybe you had to make a call and now you have to sit on the bench and wait on your ride. Put a bench next to it. And uh, I'll put some concrete under it. Like this. And then we'll put some cacti out here. I'm gonna put some cacti. I'm gonna save that. <laughs> Some street lights. Yes, we're gonna put some street lights. Definitely put some street lights. I'll put some right here to shine onto the parking lot. And one right here. Two, three, one, two. Perfect. Uh, let's turn it to nighttime and see how it looks. Yeah, that's nice. It's nice. And then we'll put like I said, some cacti around, maybe, if I can find them. <laughs> so I have a bunch of like the strange reveal cacti, which I like. If you can find a place for them, I like to throw this one out here. I'm gonna throw this one out here. That looks cool. <laughs> We're gonna throw that one out and then we'll put some smaller ones around here. Where are you, smaller cact? I really like this one. This is my favorite one. I'm gonna put this one on either side. I feel like I should have centered that. I feel like I should have centered that more. Hold on. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Okay, close enough. Close enough. Close enough to centered. It's really you're I'm really not going to be able to center it. And I want to do something else too. All right. I'm going to put some of these These are all over the place in Strange Town cuz I like them so much. I don't think I'll put one over there. So there's some cacti and then it looks centered close enough, close enough. And I think I want to put some little lights out there. I don't know how that's going to look. Let's, let's look at it at nighttime. Yeah, that's nice. That's a nice soft glow. You know what I wish I had like some cracks that I could put on the wall or something like that? Something that something that you could put on outdoor walls. Um and let's do some of this. Some terrain. Some darker terrain. Put that around the cacti. And I think this needs like something else around it too. Not terrain. Uh, what else do we have? What else do we have that's a cacti? Do I have any bushes? No, that's gardening. I have ferns. Ferns do not go in the desert, okay? Ferns do not go in the desert. But these things, I like to put these tiny palms around because I feel like it looks like kind of like grass growing around it. And I like that. I like the I like the effect. I like the effect of that. It look it makes things look a little bit wilder. I don't think I'll do that here. Maybe I will. Maybe I will. I like it. <laughs> I like it. Um, and let's see. Do I have any other plants I could put around? I have a rock. I don't want to put a rock. I, ha I think I have some more of these. I have like these kind of trees. These are... Mmm. Mmm. Gonna say no to that. I'm gonna say no to those. Uh, banana tree. I have just this regular cacti. We could put throw a couple of these out here. Throw a couple of these around. And I think that looks pretty good. Let me put some more darker. 
sand around that just for some texture around the ground. I'm gonna do the same thing up here. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. We can always have some prickly pear and stuff. I didn't put anything in front. I don't know. Let's put the walls up. Now I'm not, now I don't like these. I think that's good enough. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Um, I think that's it. I think that's good. Maybe I'll put a little bit more texture on the ground. Just so it doesn't look so flat. You know? Sometimes I overdo it with the texture, so I have to be careful. I tend to go I tend to go overboard with these. So I gotta be careful about that. <laughs> oh, we need a handicapped parking spot. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Let's put a hand. I wonder if I can recolor it. Yeah. Perfect. There we go. <laughs> I like it. I like it. Oh, you know what? We can put some cacti. We can put some of those cacti over here. Where are you? You're just the regular old cactus. I'm only gonna put one of them. One of you guys. I want it to turn that way. <laughs> Just one by itself. Put a couple of these up here. I don't want to go too crazy with the plants, but I think that's all right. Now I don't like that. <laughs> Sometimes you just have to get it there and you just have to try. You just have to try and see how it goes. I gotta go all the way down for this. Perfect. Perfect. Everybody can see in right into there. <gasps> I don't like that. I wish I had like some tinted windows or something I could use for that. Yeah, there it is. I like it. Let's turn. I want to turn it off and look at it at nighttime one more time. And I think we're good to go. The Strange Town Bar is here. So now, before we end the stream, you guys have to name it. We have to name it. Um, and let me tell you the names. So the names that I got last time, I know it does look really cool at night, are the Dirty Melba, <laughs> the Dirty Melba, the Tipsy Beaker, the Sandy Saloon or the Juicy Slice. <laughs> so these are gonna be the names. I'm, we're gonna do a poll. Those are the ones I like best out of the ones you guys uh, did. So bar name. Okay, we got the Dirty Melba. <laughs> that one cracks me up. The Dirty Melba, the Tipsy Beaker. The Sandy Saloon or the Juicy Slice. <laughs> All right, you guys got one minute. Go ahead and vote. You got one minute. <laughs> the Dirty Beaker. <laughs> no, it's the Tipsy Beaker. You don't like either? Well, then you don't have to vote. <laughs> Because those are the choices. Hot drinks really gets you. I'm so glad we got to watch hot drinks today. Oh, I also got a uh, beg for gift sub from Thicky Thought. I got a beg for gift sub from Thicky Thought. Who else? Uh, I know I got some more. Do me. D O O M I E E. And Frederica. The bar, the poll is almost over. Oh yeah, you missed hot drinks. You missed it. <laughs> Couple more seconds and the Dirty Melba. <laughs> the Dirty Melba won with 57% of the vote. Okay, let's go out and name it. Really get you 
When you feel your soul when when this we always serve it right away and a smile and have a nice day. Okay, we're about to name it the dirty Melba. <laughs> You hope the employees dress like Melba. N now it's just named Bar. Rename what? <laughs> the Dirty Melba. <laughs> okay, guys, it's ready to go. Look, there's our handicapped parking spot. You can see, it's ready to go. So next, uh, next Saturday we're gonna be playing the Grunts, which is General Buzz Buck. Uh, Floyd and Kristen. We need to change Flo change Floyd's last name to Grunt. But anyway, Kristen Lost and General Buzz have a son named Floyd and also Buck. Buck will either be aging up to an adult or going to college. His choice. And we'll be playing them. And maybe we'll get Buzz and Kristen to go down to the Dirty Melba. <laughs> they need a date, y'all. They need a date. <laughs> Okay, so uh, thank you guys so much for joining me today. Uh, in two hours, I am also gonna be on another stream. I'm gonna be on the Grand Dame stream. I'm gonna be a guest over there. Uh, it's on YouTube. So let me get that link for you. Oh my God, thank you so much, Alina, for giving out 20 gift subs right at the last minute. Thank you so much uh, for those 20 gift subs. I'm gonna read those out in just a second. Let me get the link here. So if you guys want to come join me on the Grand Dame stream, uh, we're going to be talking about body positivity and games and stuff. So um, I'm putting the link right there in the chat. You can follow that and it will tell you uh, the time it starts. It's going to be in about two hours. And thank you so much, Alina. Let me read all these out. And thank you so much for the 200 bits, Light and Frost. Thank you very much. So Alina gave out 20 gift subs to Daria Rowe, Nolan John, Geo Spize, Hazy Wims, Melilyn, Max LPQ in or Queen Q in. Oh my God, Cindy, it's on two lines. I'm sorry, Queen, Amber Bear 26, Cozy Noir, J Rassic, BVA Boo, Cora Monster, Warlord Wolf, The Boxcar Child, Bell's Divine Rose. Vine a bottle, Ashley X Rose, Lodane, correct yourself, Noxana 20, and Emove Emo Emo Vegan. <laughs> Emo Vegan. Thank you so much, Elena. I really appreciate that. You were so kind. And thank you for the 100 bits based bun. Uh, thank you guys. I really appreciate that. I appreciate all the subs and bits and everything and everybody just coming to hang out. So thank you so much. Thanks again, Alina. She, you're so generous. <laughs> All of you guys are. I really appreciate that. Uh, so thanks for joining me for another Strange Town Saturday. I've got, like I said, I've got more. I've got a Sims 2 Let's Play coming out on Pleasant Sims next week. So keep your eyes open for that. And I've also got more videos coming on my other channel, on my personal channel, Life Plus Cindy. So come and join me for that. And I will see some of you guys uh, in the Grand Dame stream in about two hours. All right, everybody, have a great rest of your weekend, and I will see you back here on Monday uh, for some Nutley. We're going to play some Nutley on Monday. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Thanks for naming the Dirty Melba.